Let's check out this missive, and then I believe we have some more set quests. Safe returns before we depart. Oh, not the right one. Before we depart. Ifrit. I love how he always calls us that, too. You have my sincerest gratitude for reuniting me with Master Harpocrates, that I might embark upon it this most important of journeys. My heart free of regret. Though in the past few moons, I've come to realize that the longer I spend in the company of you and your brother, the deeper I find myself in your debt. We must swiftly see the menace that this is, that is Ultima, if not to save the world, to save me from the eternity of recompense. <laughs> that is cute and so on mark with Dion's character. Treasure hunt. What? You didn't think I were just saying that stuff about hiding my engine, did you? Wouldn't you know, I found a fine spot picked out and everything. But if you are gonna go, <laughs> if you're gonna go on this grand adventure, you'll need to be quick about your business with that ruddy god of yours. Take too long and someone more clever than you might beat you to the prize. I suppose in that case, I could, <laughs> I could bury you one of my lesser inventions. Goddess knows I've countless. I believe that. Thank you, Clive. Forever indulging the whims of a doting old soul. I am ashamed that for too many years, I allowed stubbornness and fear to keep me from something so simple as letting a friend know how proud I was of him. Your intervention has lifted a heavy pall from my heart. Perhaps upon a triumphant return from the skies, you might be inclined to set to page the quill I gifted you. There are many of us who would hear a first-hand account of the time with the Holy Prince, myself included. Harpocrates II. I guess I forgot he was the second of his name. All right, so we do have three hunt board quests left. We do have a new patronage, which means we are getting close to the very last one. But I'm going to go ahead and finish external stuff. So we are going to fast travel to, I think let's do... Yes, my dear people in Northreach. I believe this will be the second part to help see the stabilization of Northreach. We should just be adding to the barrel. The garrison is threatening to pull their sentries from the markets if we don't cooperate. Really? Then we'll just post our own. I think that was the same dialogue as in the first part of it, but there must be some kind I of update. I would speak with this duke about the demand. Hmm. So the captain just now wasn't wearing his uniform. Oh, it's still so soon since the last one. Yeah, because if the captain, like if a lot of the garrison is just now seen. Is just now talking about it. I'm here, Isabel. Do you have a moment, Clive? What I is have it? a moment. It's the Duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. Jeez. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength. Absolutely. That the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. I guess Philippe wasn't able to, like, pull up enough people for this. And how short-sighted is that by the Duke to pull everybody to help with the garrison but leave them defenseless? Absolutely. Whatever you need. Thank you, Clive. <sighs> what would I do without you? What would the, the Duke do without me? He had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Sabine. Here, my lady. To His daughter. Do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, mm -hmm. who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. <laughs> I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. What, can he? Please. Proceed. As oh. you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. <laughs> Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Why does she find Yet him I to fear be reckless? He is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. Hmm. And who would make him do this? I would. 
myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Why would she? Does that not seem a trifle drastic? Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the mm -hmm. Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. Dang, Sabine's going hard. <sighs> He's always been like this. That explains it. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. Mm. We must fight him. By all possible means. Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Oh. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope. Yeah. I assure you. I feel like we should kind but of trust I see that his your daughter. Mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy. Ooh. I bid you good day. Dang. Salt in the wound right there. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. Or Which show a weakness. enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. You really think so? This I'm entire sorry. thing? Where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. Well, you could. What's stopping you? All right, under new management part two, there might be a part three. I'm trying to decide, there could be a part three right after. Remember how the blacksmith was like a one and two? It was almost like a two-parter that didn't spawn till later. Your town needs you. Your town needs you. I need you. Every time I come to see Isabel, I just, it makes me fall like a little sleepy because her voice is so peaceful. Like, I just want her to read me bedtime stories, what you know? does the dame have to say about the dame. So you are content to abandon the people to their fates. I'm not Sabine's abandoning here too. anyone to anything. Oh man. Please, I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, <laughs> milady. It's like, get out of here. I'm trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison. Fine. Oh, he reminds me of um... able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, I'm thinking of it. Thinking of it. Not Aragorn. No. What am I thinking? She cornered you too, then. I'll come back. I'll think of it. Ways. Like father, like daughter, eh? <laughs> she made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier. Yeah. Hoping to convince the dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. For better or anyway, worse. What brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of... Uh, you know what? They're back. Voldemort? Seems that way. Where is it? All over, too. You know what? We haven't been able to confirm oh, anything yet, but if you're those willing... things. That's right, that's you right. You could go and see what's what. Right. <sighs> Where should I look? Because why not? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. Mm. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clyde. Grieger's Weep? I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. It's always multiple parts. There's always multiple parts. Okay. 
but I bet you we're gonna get something for our room from this too. And I wonder if like, not just the completionist in me with Final Fantasy, but like, I'm wondering if you actually gain something by having all of your allies with you at the very end, do you know? It'd be cool if it was done like that. Damn it. What is it? What is he? Those were true. I need to stop them before they get to the town. Nice, 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 nice. Do a lightning bolt out? Alright, we need to put the blade back on if we want to use it. Oh my gosh, they're down bad. <laughs> what? Build that back up. All right, it is level three. That's gonna catch two of them. Oh no, just one. There we go, dead. The thralls. How did he survive that? Another round. Wait. Do this. They have somebody carrying. All right. Ignition. They still have their cure up. And then I think there'll be like two more batches, I'd assume. Maybe on the other side as well. 60. I have there's nothing that I I forgot what I'm even going after. I don't think there really is anything I'm trying to level up too much. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive, it's me. I wouldn't be jesting at him. Are you alright? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found though. No, I'm just kidding. Well, there's something, I suppose. But what but were they more. doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. You head back to Northreach. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Her magic? Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. Oh, but She'll Sabine. have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? <sighs> This is exactly what the Dane was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. Hmm. Blue murder. The blueberries are coming. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> This is all of Northreach, Do you like not see, Father? 20 people. The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country? Oh, no. hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. Hmm. Now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword. How will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? Surely nope. there's something in between. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Uh, no. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. Mm. We must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. Another thing A that brings them that together. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore. You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, 
and not posturing born of a family feud. Mm. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The Carla. slut of Twinside who bedded a branded. <gasps> Jealous, are you? Oh. That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Oh! Right. Get her. I met a swarm of throws coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Oh, oh fuck you. If no work on the fortifications has scarcely begun, we will retreat to Care Norvant right. and there make our stand. And leave the people in Northridge to. Did you hear me? That was an order. Uh. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those yes. that we love together for Northreach. Come on, Phil. You heard the dame. What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on. Mm, they don't know quickly, but I think they're just like questioning what to do, I guess. And but then there was she one. Is but a common whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. <laughs> your rank does not define your leadership. Absolutely not. Your position. No. She's always been what kept this town together. The men have their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Oh. Thank you, my lady. I will. I'll play my part too. Yes. You okay. still want for numbers. I was like, I better be in Unlike this fight and not just leave them. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. Mm. All right, but take care. Thank you, both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. I feel like her outfit doesn't like go with anything else. Like I know that, I know like she runs the veil and everything that happens and such, but it still doesn't even feel like it makes sense for her establishment either. I don't know. Maybe it's like the colors and everything. Maybe it's because, yeah, I guess you just don't see. It's just a very big contrast compared to everything else. Well, zip down here. Is it in the back? Okay, we can just run there. I still wanted to find out more about that. I wanted to see it up close. Maybe one day. And then does that mean all of the capital is abandoned? Like nobody's over there? Like completely? This is more like it. Somebody is having a beautiful night's rest in the yeah. castle if nobody else is. You know, there's like a medicine girl or something that's taken up residence in it. All right, soon. Nice. Optimizing ignition. There we go. That should give us almost three. Smack him a couple more times. Oh, I have to put the weapon on. There we go. Alright, and then swoosh around. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Ignition again. New enemies approaching. Is it over? No. Where? 
it's only yeah. just begun. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They have a cave troll. Let's try. There we go. Do that. That did not even strike the main guy. That struck something so random. A specter. And then there was one. I love the zoomies. The zoomies. Nice. Do this. We need to level that up. That's what we're gonna level up. I think it costs a lot too. So that we can build up to five and then do so much damage. Nice. That should stagger him. Limit break. Mission. Nice. Let's do this while he's down. Go ahead and switch this. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to cast it at two. Nice. Oh, did I jump that or did I get hit by that? Oh, he smacked Torgo. Poor Torgo. Awesome. Lightning bolt. Put this back out. Nice, he's still stagger. Yeah, just wait till that's level five. We're gonna need it for Ultima too. Swoosh. Ignition the rear. Map? Here we go. No 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 no. I wonder if we also go towards the south. Do to the south. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. For now. Better hurry back to town. This reminds me so much on, of, uh, not Tubor. Was it Tubor? No. What's the other town? I'm thinking Lubor, who's in the town that I'm thinking of. But it reminds me of that. Like a lot of them are in. It is kind of cool because I think the like at the core of a lot of these missions, you've got different opposing perspectives and viewpoints of how they should move forward. And at the end of the day, they still come together Clive. to defeat like a it's single common you. goal, which shows them they and can you. work together. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. Mm. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. Philip. <laughs> oh, was I? And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of Empire. Mm -mm. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. A Not common by force. Whore. Nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority. But by simply being one of them. And earning their respect. By knowing what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, your eminence. Hmm. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory. While our eyes beheld matters closer to home. <laughs> I like that. You have the right of it again. As did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbrek is naught without her citizens. I forgot that. And I am sorry. I'm sorry too, father. Mm. 
I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. Mm. To all of you. Your eminence. Your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. Yeah. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. Aww. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Do you want to apologize for now calling me a whore? Settled, <laughs> like... I must go and see to the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Hmm. Though I think he kind of like when he was, he said his beginning thing that was in his own way, his way, like an apology. So. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm, but women like her. You're right. If only I'd listened to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, my lady, but you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We yeah. just have to work together. And that goes for you, too. You're one of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, <sighs> but for us. The funny thing is, the Duke is so inconsistent uh, as a character. Since there's nothing more to be done here, like, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. I don't know. That's my only thing. Is it's like he even in earlier he was never as cruel as he was in that moment of like saying she's just a common whore and stuff. And he almost like it was like a switch flipped, and all of a sudden he was playing the villain no to be a to villain, worry. not because that actually was like his position. I just feel like that was like swappily done. I don't know. This wasn't my favorite one. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, mm -hmm. it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm. But I sense you would rather have died here. Hmm. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. Aww. Now that's sweet of Clive. <sighs> Very well. That much we gather? Ago, I had a life in the crystalline dominion. I was Carla then. Courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. Mm. He was my master's guard, the gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Oh. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving, half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here, in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. Those that could be healed at least. No. My love was already too far gone. He passed away. He did. Not long Aww. after we arrived. For Isabel. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It Aww. was the greatest gift I have ever received. 
But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. All for loving that a bear. I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt to the Vale. Mm, so she's dedicated her life to it. Thank you, Isabel. It gave her purpose. For sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. <laughs> Never stop fighting, Clive. That would make sense. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter, all united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. But like maybe after I take down Ultima and save all of Alistia and not just y'all, maybe? Under new management, did we get something from her or is there a three? <gasps> we did the Veil signboard. Guys, we got it. 40 renown as well. We did it. That is all of Sam Breck's missions. There's nothing over here, right? And that leaves. Did I already do? I, I must have already done the other one. Uh, let's go ahead and do the second one of Tabor because I think this is the Undying. And we left them on a very interesting note, so I actually kind of look forward to doing this next mission with them. Mmm. He has something new to sell. To the merchant. Are you buying or selling? Mmm. I think I do have some things to sell, to be honest. What is he... The Will of Darkness. Oh. Gungnir. That's not what I'm using, right? Will increase damage by 30%. Hold on. Hold on. Which one am I using right now? Let's pop over and see how much we need to save up for anyway. So as far as abilities go, we're trying to level up. Oh no. I guess that is maximized. But you can build it up to five in the arena. No, I'm sorry. That would be Arm of Darkness. Wait. Yes, mastery increases maximum level to five. Which I think we can know that's 5,000. Is there anything that I can refund? Is there anything I'm not using that I can refund? I don't think so. Because I already refunded Garuda's. And I'm, yeah, I'm not using any of these. It would only be these, Shiva's, and I'm using both of Shiva's. What is the Gungnir? Oh, the spin to win. The spin to win is pretty cool. And also a 30% increase in damage would be pretty sick. Ignition we're using and limit break we're using. So yeah, there's not really any of those. I guess I could reset some of these like charged magic or like swift recovery like ones that I'm not like I'm never gonna use taunt right guys You have never seen me use taunt. Let's just I mean, it's only 40 points. It's not even worth it, but still Burning blade I used down thrust Like I'm not really but these are such pit like that. No, so muley. I I don't need to recover that much not for 5,000. We'll get that, for, I believe, before we move on just from doing side quests, so. Mm. So we don't need to buy that. The Undying. Sir? The bearer of the Burning Quill is within, my lord. Prithee enter. Prithee enter. Oh. News has reached us of the black bulk that soars over that the street. I think they already said this. Lord Cyril has ordered our survey teams to investigate it forthwith. It would seem that your battle is coming to a head, my lord. Oh no, we haven't. I pray that you and your brother will emerge victorious. May the firebird's flame burn ever in your hearts and guide you back home safely. Mm. All right, Cyril. What is it? Lord Marquis, if you have a moment. What is it, Cyril? 
One of our brethren lately journeyed across the strait in order to pursue a new avenue of inquiry ash. in our ongoing investigation. It's always Ash. He sent an owl some while ago, but we have heard naught from him since. Was he surveying another fallen ruin? No. The object of his study was a savior cult that has arisen in Ash in recent years. Savior We believe it may have some connection to the Circle of Malleus. An ancient religion that worshipped Ultima as its mm. god. By gaining an understanding of this new faith, we hoped to learn more of the Circle's original beliefs. And so you sent one of your brothers to Ash? Oh, no. A continent teeming with orcs and Akashic. I don't like this guy, clearly. Fully cognizant of the risks, yes. <laughs> I entrusted the mission to one of the most able of our order, the Third Chair, a master of the arts of combat and survival, both. Though he has been silent for some days now, I have thus far refrained from sending any others in search of him, lest they be lost in turn. Yet, Understand. it seemed only right to inform you of the situation, given your unique experience of the perils of Ash. For as you so earnestly advised me, it would not do to abandon a man to his fate, mm -hmm. when he might yet be saved. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll do it. It would not. Just because Ash I'm in place. the manner of cleaning up other people's messes. Can you be any more specific? Perhaps. The last owl I received from him mentioned a village where he had heard the cult were wont to assemble. Mickleberg was its name. Mickleberg. It lies in the southern reaches of Walud. I think if we're familiar. ill befell him, I expect it did so there. All right. I'll see what I can do. You are much too kind, my lord. Go then, with my hopes. And may the Firebird's flame ever burn in your heart. I don't really like the quests that take us to Ash because I just personally feel like Ash feels so empty. Like it almost feels like Ash in the fact that it was, like it was something that we knew we were going to encounter later on. And so there was so much buildup to going here. And I feel like it just is really, really lackluster. And in comparison to all the detail they put into Valisthea, I feel like they used the whole like Walud storyline to cover it with about like a bunch of iconic just for the sake of saying like nothing's really here because it's been wiped out by Akashic. And it just feels like an easy way to be like, here we have this whole massive new area. But by the way, there's not actually really a whole lot here uh, because it was taken over by Akashic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I I think it'd be faster to go from here, to be honest. Yeah, let's do edge. It's pretty much dead in the middle between the two, but I like the journey from over here better. Come here, Ambrosia. Ambrosia, fly. Ambrosia. Yep, there it is. I can't say it like how Clive says it. Ambrosia, Ambrosia. 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 It's like Ambrosia. Right, this way. Is it this way? Wait. Oh, I do this every time. Back it up, back it up, back it up. The worst noise. Oh, is that? No. The worst noise is when you have him smack something and he's like, oh. No, no. no Take your back. plague and get out of here. I'm not interacting with you. I've got too much to do. Oh no, I've been stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no, Ambrosia. Oh my goodness. The drift on this thing. Wait a minute. Here it is. Ignore them, ignore this them. Must be Whoa. Totally, <gasps> wait. What about that other, oh, do you guys remember that old spot that I tried to get into very now. early on? Wait, 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 do y'all remember? I couldn't access it, but it was in Rosaria, near the hideaway. I vaguely remember that. Whoa, survivors. Wait, what? I guess they're all part of the same, okay. These people aren't turned. Yeah. It's the village seems safe enough at least. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know about that. What is going on here? Ah. Did you two heed the call? Heed the call? No, I... I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? That's what are you so. doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others... They... They heeded the call. You keep saying that. The call? What do you mean? They came here... to perform the rite. Just as King Barnabas instructed. Mm. This village... is their altar... where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves. I like his voice. Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. Hmm. Checks out. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner, like me, come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from Stone? Yes. He's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. <laughs> I love how... They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. Clive's voice is towards him. At least the third chair is still alive. Like, if you don't Let's mind, go I'm gonna go do this. Yeah, I just love how Clive interacts with him in that scene. I'm gonna go this way first. Over yonder. No loot? Wait, I'm mini. <gasps> there is something back here. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, song? No. Empty shard. But a girl can dream. Two songs left, y'all. Two songs left, which I kind of think that they're somewhere random. You know how we found it when we kicked open a chest? Maybe it's next to the hidden marks, the S marks. I know, I'm gonna need you to slow your roll quest, okay? I haven't gotten there yet. Relax, take a deep breath. Hmm. Anything on the outside first? Look at all of the pots. Like, what are you housing in all these? I guess grains and food and, and resources of various types. Assess the situation first, then talk to him. Chronicles of Mikvar being a collection of tales as recounted to his most exalted majesty, Lord Bjornhard of the Veldermark. As you are no doubt aware, Lord Bernyard, Bernhard, there was once a race of men who commanded the most forbidden of forbidden magics. But did you ever hear tell of the executors? Whoa. Those charged with driving out these heretics. The order had its origins in the crystalline dominion, but whose rulers decree it was tasked with the protection of mankind and sent forth to extinguish the forbidden magic, wherever rumors of its use might arise. Having in due course succeeded in their mission and driven the utters of the unutterable from the land, these secretive souls withdrew from the stage of history, never to be heard from again. Cheese, bread, bread, and cheese. There's things you can Excuse count me. on in a home. Are you with the undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? We've heard his voice in this game. Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. 
I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill, much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them... Oh no. ...the more my own faith it's began been to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I, too, swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... It is different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become Akashic. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider mm. it a great... That's not good. Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. Maybe their brain's been I'll answered. I'll find out what. Stay here. Ultima sent something. <sighs> Putting them to the test. Ether floods? How did the ether floods spread like that? So quickly. I don't oh, no. understand how it like I mean I Seriously? There must be something I can do. To stop him from turning? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, the ancient as well. Founder. Founder. Come on. Alright, let's Over just here. get in the middle here and get it done. Oh, shoot, I wasn't close enough to actually cast that. Let's try to bring him in. And then cast this. They're too far away to get hit by it. Mission that? New enemies approach. Or maybe it really is just that, but then... Oh, no, the people are transforming. What now? Wait, what? A new champion has arisen. What did it bring back up? What? Or no, it, now it's just a... Oh! This is not even a notorious mark. Again. Say, Titus? I've Titus? Your kind before. Yeah. I'm gonna do a strength tonic. Nice. Get in there. Nice. Oh, I parried it, I parried it, I parried it. The fact that I parried that, amazing. Nice. Build up that. Oh, I got tossed. Oh. I didn't realize that that was gonna. I should have known. If it glows, it means it's gonna hit you later. There we go. What? He moved! What? Garbage? He's following up with a swing. Ow. Okay. I need 
need to make sure I'm slowing down the fights because I... I'm just... I'm just on one. He also takes forever to beat down. Okay. Alright, let me break and let's do this. Oh. He didn't even stagger from her ability? No, that's strange. Her ultimate should have staggered him, like, right away. There we go. Now that will hit him. He backs away every time. That's unfair. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <sighs> what? Alright, let's do Flames of Rebirth. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Somehow healing or something. I feel like I'm seeing stuff go into him. Like those. I feel like. Nice. Okay. There we go. He's gonna back up from it. He keeps backing up before I get it. Okay. Wait. 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 Use this. Break his. Come on. Break it. He's almost done. Tap him. Oh, come on. There we go. Staggered. Limit break. Englishman. I don't know if I can do that much damage before he's out of it. No, I can. With the lightning. Nice. That's it. Every time the lightning. But those people should have turned to Akashic, no? 180. All right, guys, only 3,500 more. I actually believe that maybe our next patron gives us AP, if I remember correctly. I thought she did. Oh, no. She's turning to Kashik. No, they're not. There's more? Damn it. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why? What? What? Don't you die. Come on, speak to me. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation. The whisperings? Oh By no. By devoting themselves to the service of their lord. They're turning to Kashuk as we speak. Just as I did. When the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. A duty to serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become a Kashik in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. He didn't save them and he my didn't he just killed himself. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? I can't of even course. be emotional over this because that Your was stupid. Will be done. And also for being called the Undying, they die a lot. <laughs> ah. Look, my lord. Always dying. They are saved. The whole idea of it, it feels almost like an indoctrination. The indoctrination. And now where are they wandering? Where are they going? They're leaving us alone? I, 
I just, I actually have loved so many of the side missions. I think personally, I'm having a really hard time with these last couple ones because I think that if you are a completionist at heart, are saved. if you're a completionist at heart, you want to do all of them in between, right? And that's so noble and it's so great, but because of, especially when you get to this very end, placing this many side missions between that it just does a disservice to your enjoyment of the main storyline and i've i'm a big fan of a lot of the side missions i just think that for how many they throw at you which is almost like 15 and then all of the notorious marks at this point as well it feels like that should have been all delivered to you before you even face down ultima the first time around i just really feel that way because otherwise I've now lost momentum and that emotional connection to the main storyline. And it's a little bit on me for being like wanting to do all the side missions. Not everybody has to, but I also don't, at least for me, like I don't, I, I just don't really have the time to go back and play a game a second time. So that's why every time I go through a game, I try to play it organically and as much of a completionist as possible. I'm not hundred percent in every game I play by any means because I don't look a lot of stuff up, but I just, um, this they're kind of losing me right here at the end like the momentum's found that. shot I should get this report to Cyril and then some of these just don't some of them just feel stupid because they feel like fluff or extra to me it's just some of the missions aren't as well thought out in these ones or the undying I'm like all of these missions and it happens so late in the game that it's like I don't have like a care for the undying except for Yote like I it was cool to see where Yote came from so in that regard I guess I can see it but I'm just kind of irritated. My Lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. Let me know if you I guys felt the same. I met with your same. third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Yeah, let me know if you guys feel like there could have been a better place to like deliver these final quests as well. I think if we had gotten back to the hideaway and done the same thing, and maybe had like three, maybe like three, like the Harpocrates and Dion, that was a good time one um a couple others i'm sure we have or don't forget we still have three more we still have four more missions total but thank you my lord he remained in ash he died protecting the villagers from an echo i buried him in mickleburg i'm sorry that i couldn't save him he threw himself if in you town. could not save him no one could the villagers they were Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Mm. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. Yeah, he would. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. Hmm. A noble ambition. That rug is really to red. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We I live like the message here. According to the teachings I do like of our that. order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. Mm. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> All right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. 
to know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. Oh, no, that's cool. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve uh -huh. House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. I liked his part in the whole Undying Quest line. Like, his understanding and his delivery and the dialogue from him was fantastic. Clay hearth, signboard, I don't, oh, we did get that. Best of luck. Okay, let's go back and check that out. I wonder how many more we have left. Oh, Lubor. Yeah, we need to do Lubor's too. I feel like Lubor's is gonna be a little heavy and I think, <laughs> I think yesterday I told you guys we were gonna do it really, um, quickly because it was important to me and it still is but i just think that before i go back i need to break with like a different like maybe just like a fun quest let's go back there's two more patronage moments too so let me pop up here and see that wait what do you mean there's more there's more what's your new adventures did I ever tell you about the time I journeyed through Southern Ash, Kupo? Through Orkish lands. Well, technically they're dead in their lands now, but the Orcs don't seem to mind. They found a way to survive without Mother Crystals, just like we have, Kupo. Though it involves a good deal more cannibalism than here in the hideaway. <laughs> a guy like that. At least I think it does. You don't know what happens, what Molly puts in her brown, do you, Koopo? Fair enough. There's more. There's m more have popped up. How are so... <laughs> Knight of Splendent Art. The Grim Reaper. I wonder why, I guess, oh, I guess maybe it's driven by your side missions too and what you do. Oh, I wasn't oh. expecting you back so soon. Listen to the patron's whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Oh, no, it wasn't. Fallen Enigma. And Sail Forbidden Seas. Hold on. I think that we, I think we have two more. So that means where am I missing the last one? If the drunken galley captain I shared a table with last night is to be believed, word of your exploits has made it away across the seas of the great continent. What is more, she claims there are those who would see you flourish, herself being one such woman, Gareth. Genji gloves. Okay. There you are. You can deny them technically. Best of luck out there, Sid. I love the I love the renown and patron system. I think that's really cool. All right, let's go look at this. Hold up. Increases damage dealt to enemies by five percent. Five percent is a lot, y'all. What do we have right now? Increases maximum HP by five hundred. Temporarily increases attack proficiency. Berserker. Nine seconds on a judgment bolt. My, wait a minute, do I even have the Judgment Bolt anymore? Isn't the Judgment Bolt, is that my ultimate? Is that my ultimate? It is my ultimate. Yeah, but nine seconds in the course of a fight isn't as important as I feel like it is to be doing 5% damage over time. I think that that's gonna be stronger. Hmm. I wish that there were more I wish she could just have way more slotted, too. I feel like you should be able to have, like, six or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, we have some hunts. I might go ahead and knock out the hunts real quick. Wait, we have four? Nobody's tool. Did we always have four? Or there's a well. I might find out what this guy needs. What does this guy need? Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. Something in Ash. But recently freed from his bonds is keen to join the curse breakers as you know the work we do is not easy which is why we test every volunteer's suitability oh i was that's hoping cool. you could oversee this one's evaluation i don't mind but why this one because he wants to be a scout 
Our ranks are filled with men and women mm. capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting, we're few with the nose for that, which mm -hmm. is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. That's true. Since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boy's test then? Uh, this is fun. Okay, I like one this one. Have too many scouts. This is gonna be different. Two words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. <laughs> no time like the present, eh? I love his voice. No time like the present. I'll await you there. No time like the present. Okay, that's a little bit different. Trial and error. Northreach. Um, I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Literally. <laughs> Why is it always Northridge? Do you think they'll come back? Mm. Of course they will. I feel like that was the same voice as what's her name? I want to do these trials myself, like the actual trials that we ran into last time. Want to do those? Uh, Indomitable? Oh no, I don't like this one. I don't like that. Oh no, I don't like that. Sound of silence on giant shoulders. No. Night terrors, no. Something peaceful. Founder's footsteps. <laughs> All right, one, two. What? Wait, 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 hold on. It shows found in a treasure coffer. Found in a treasure coffer. Hmm. Okay, so there's a treasure. Acquired in the hideaway. There's another song that can be acquired in the hideaway? Somebody can gift us a song, maybe? Clive. Not about her, I do want to ask if about you're Origin. Buy some, be quick about it. No, I have I have night terrors. Uh it's not from her. Somebody's gonna give it to us. Come again. Interesting. Oh don't. Okay. I'm not much bothered either way. Huh. Acquired in the hideaway. Or maybe it's when you complete all of these, you get a song for completing all of the... The Wall of Memories? Yes! The Veil signboard's massive! Also, we have the Clayhar signboard. And then, yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's interesting. So there's six memories left. But there's only... Well, Lubor as well. There's four missions. But that'd be five total. Hmm. I don't know. The witch conquers all. The witch witch? Here, not long removed from when last you placed yourself between us in peril, I sit and pen yet another letter in which I try and find the words to somehow express the gratitude of an entire town. Still, something feels different about our last, our latest triumph. Where in the past we leaned ever so heavily upon your good graces, this time we found strength elsewhere, in ourselves. Our hardship has shown us that which should have been apparent all along. We are not as different as we want to believe. Does a peasant love his homeland any less than a noble? Does a bearer love his family any less than another man does his own? It is this love that has united us and given us true strength. Should ever thrall, akashic, bandit, and brigand in the realm come charging our gates, we will not fret, we will not falter. We will fight, and we will win. Isabel. A note of thanks. My Lord Marquis, I write to thank you of your kind consideration you have shown for those whose names are written within the pages of the Book of Martyrs. I know that it would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the Phoenix laments their passing. Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in service of the Phoenix, I do not doubt that those who are taken before their time go with regret for long years of duty left undone, that they should live on in the memory of a proud son of House Rosfield, such as yourself shall surely go some way to soothing their sorrows. May the Phoenix's flame burn ever in your heart. Cyril. I like that. Let's also go ask about 
um, this guy. So basically the plan for today's video, so this is gonna be kind of, I think what I'm gonna do is leave the last main mission for its own vid video, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour and a half, I think that'll be like a sole video. So I think today's video is just gonna be finishing up these finishing up quests, talking to everybody in the hideaway before we move on and prepare and also catch up on our readings as well. What does Byron need from us? Oh, I do want to ask about Origin. You're set on this plan of yours then? I am. You never were one to shy away from a fight. Some might say it runs in the family. Ha! Your father would be proud. Thank you, uncle. I know he'll be with us up there. As for down here... You may take comfort in the knowledge that the realm will be in capable hands until you return. <laughs> Indeed. Three's company? Hive, my boy! There we go. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't intended for you to get involved, but such are the times we live in, huh? Mm. I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. <laughs> but tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? From what little yeah. I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days. And without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. To do. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. But in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. Dalmachia twin The realm's armies oh. and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and mm -hmm. maintain some semblance of order, yes? But such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In <laughs> short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. Absolutely. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates <laughs> to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the high commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Hmm. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. Eugen. I thought he was retired. Yes. He was, until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and Oh, fire. the guy we saw. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. He just needs convincing. Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. I think we Havel can do that. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle. And he has certain qualms about clasping arms well. with, well, with an outlaw. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course, but the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. He don't mind, do you, my boy? What I wouldn't do for you, my uncle. Of course not. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. Nice. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Let me tell him like a little bit, because I also thank have you, like Uncle. 20 other quests on me. No. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> I love Byron. I'm prioritizing whichever one I have in the moment, but it doesn't matter. I'm going, I'm going to all of them. Uh, okay. I want to do those. I want to do all of those too. Uh, I'll sing you a song. Enthroned in sky. Hit it. Chaos. 
I feel like I've missed a few. From diverse oh. hands are mm -hmm. dawn is spun in crimson oh. Wow. You should get a song from hearing all of his. Like, if you successfully heard all of his, I feel like you should get something from him. Okay, so let's do a hop and a skip. Skedaddle to, oh, wait a minute. Oh, three's a company. Two is trial and error. Let's go do the trial and error. But uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Trial and error. I wonder what they test them in for being a spy or being a, what is he? Yeah, he's trying to be like a tracker or a spy. There's Show us how good your nose is. Northridge, he'd be testing this recruit. I guess I'm probably nervous. tracking down something. Is it alright to be nervous? I don't care either way. I don't well, care. Well, Sid, <laughs> this is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, Ember. just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, <laughs> yes. Scout, not spy. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. Mm. Who would that be? Gav? Gav? It was him who found me and freed me. Uh. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since. Fair. So that one day... I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. You clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Mm -hmm. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. A so, fine one indeed. What? Have I passed? <sighs> you haven't even started yet. Now listen. Oh, Not far from watch. here is an Imperial lookout. We're finally going to East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. Unnoticed. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. <laughs> You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Mm. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. Mm, he seems like a little, uh, just a little young. Like, I think what matters in this trial is to see if he has the makings of one. We're not expecting perfection here. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. On my way. I do like how different right, this Ember. mission is. Impress me. Impress me. Oh, let's do this. I don't think we've gone up there, have we? Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Fly. Think about how brutal this would have been if we never got Ambrosia. Whee! Up and around the corner. Wait a minute. Okay, I have gotten that, right? Isn't that dragons? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've never gone up here. There must be a notorious mark here, too. I... I don't reckon. clean kills. Perhaps young Ember really is ready. Ah! Oh. Oh, no. Maybe not. What is it? I bet there's, like, a larger beast or something. Like, something out of his control. What is it? Ancient? Damn it. Yeah. Ember, draw your sword! Oh, God! Oh, no. Then run! Oh. Um. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Yeah, Gav is great because he also knows how to fight too, though. But again, that comes with age and time. Stop it. Staggered. 
Level 40 is not bad at all. Oh, can we? Oh, no, we can't yet. Nice. Flames a rebirth on him. Shiva, and then finish him. We oh, missed that. Oh. I need to get potions before we go to the next step too. I gotta remember that potions before um, marks. The marks. Another day, another dragon. Ember, are you? Tell me he's not dead. Okay, he just ran. Gone. Of course. Scouts really are a rare breed. Yeah, because I guess we should have snuck past him. Back to Northreach it is then. Hmm. But there's a chest here. Could it be the one that I've searched for this whole time? Kestrel's break braid. No. What is that? Huh. Kestrels. Down thrust by 10%. Hmm. If I had to guess, there's probably another notorious mark back there at some point. Did he run all the way back to Northridge? The garrison said they take it. He's like, I'm out for good. I'm out. I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but... He's gonna come back with the book. Not. Oh. I'm well. sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. Yeah, he got it. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. <laughs> How did you? Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught. He has you To be fair. Own. And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Oh, is it going to give course. us the option? We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. <laughs> I don't know, should yes, we let Sergeant. him? It's probably... Not a real decision, but... Still all the same. This won't be an easy decision. So I think I will. Ooh. Wait, that's kind of cool if we actually get the choice to help him. All right, we'll go back to the hideaway after we do the Reza Company. And then we'll take back these two. And then we need to do Lubor's, and we got two more in the hideaway as well. He has something new. Bachlad. But Bachlad's not what I'm thinking well of either. It's not it. Hmm. What does he have? Heaven's Cloud. By 2.5 seconds. Eh. Farewell. Oh, you know what? Let me top up on my potions. You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. I believe that. Many thanks. Whoop. A top up that. Choice. Top up strength tonic. Many thanks. I never thought I'd live to see over a hundred and a hundred K, honestly. Does she have more it's things? Good to see you. Oh yeah. Bucklad. The Dominion has fallen. And Bucklad Street's new now echo with the cries of those fleeing its destruction. And the bitter objections of those forced to take them in. And things seem likely only to get worse. Ether floods continue to swallow great swaths of the Republic. And it grows harder every day to disagree with those who say the end is nigh. But what is the end of the world as we know it, if not an opportunity to create a new one? Our work is only just beginning. The Crimson Caravans must set an example. 
We must use skill, strength, and knowledge. Theo and I earned all over those years to see that all who come here continue to be fed and watered. If there is nowhere left to run, then we must ensure that the place in which we find ourselves is a place of refuge for all. It is our job to keep the hope alive. If we don't, who else will? Theodore's legacy... Did I tell you? I found a map of Kajlok among Theo's things. He had written some words in the boundaries. A new dream for when the nightmare ends. That was what he wanted. An end to the torment that bears and the realm over have long been forced to endure. A new beginning. Theo lost his life in pursuit of that dream. It falls to those of us who remain to see that it lives on. No matter how hard it might be. Or how long it might take. I will make his dream a reality. When we fled our childhood home. We left behind not only our family fortune, but the names of our parents gave us. I became Eloise and my brother Theodore. We had nothing but our names and the hatred of a system that would have seen my brother enslaved. But that hatred also gave us purpose. We swore to save not only Theodore, but others like him. In order to make good on this ambition, we would need two things, money and trust. We found work and saved the money we needed to begin buying bearers their freedom. We told them that their lives were their own and that they could stay with us and we would feed them and house them and pay them for their labor. Or they could leave and we would grant them safe passage to wherever they wished to go. In that way, we engendered trust, gendered trust. <sighs> Once again, once earned, that trust provided nigh unshakable, so much so that most chose to stay with us. But it was always Theo they trusted the most. They loved him. I loved him. And I shall continue his work, our work. Forgot how many oh, well. people have more conversations too. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, this is all the way at the base. What are Do they looking at? Too? Oh, that thing. Oh, yeah. The big old thing taking up the... Yeah. That's right. Forgot about that. That could probably be pretty terrifying. Sorry, I have this one piece of hair that won't leave my face. I'm scared. Aw. I want to say there's more refugees in this area now, too, since the destruction of the twins. Chocobo? Ambrosia. Come on. Yeah! I reckon we won't get to see inside, but he'll probably be waiting outside the gates for us. Like the last mission was like. Because you can see the city in the distance. The deer and the antelope, cantaloupe, boy. Mm -hmm, mm I'm surprised that there's not a better- Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to fly down. Oh, I can! Let's go! Wait, is this the moment we've all waited for? Are we going to get to go? There's no way. I can't be Rutherford, can it? I don't- No. I think they're- No, I don't think- Oh no, I don't think this is good. Oh, this is bad news, bears. They're arguing with somebody? Turncoats and cowards! Cowards. The lot of you! If it's a fight you want, oh. it's a fight you shall have. Wait, they look badass. Allow me. And now he gets to see firsthand. I don't need your. Please, uh, Field Marshal, oblige him. Field Marshal. Long. Rutherford knows who I am. You're right. It won't. Gosh, I feel like I'm just. Men. Just Finish taking out it. all the remaining fighters of Valisthea. Another day, another set to go. Alright, bring them in this way. And then do this. Yeah. It do be like that. Banner list. Nice. Quick and easy. I wonder if this will give us enough for now. I think that renown is probably if you do every mission possible. 
A little longer than I'd have liked. How much faster do you want me to do that? <laughs> that was nearly a one shot. With Flames of Rebirth? I can't win. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Oh, Are they were talking to Field. Oh. No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Mm. Fucking traitors. I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths they oh, swore. Oh, it's bad. But I hadn't thought the corruption had reached so close to the heart of the Republic. Mm. It's a fucking disgrace. Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. Oh, he does know who I am. He did recognize me. Huh. My lord, Marquis. Or is Sid the outlaw more to your liking? Call Whatever. me what you want. It doesn't change who I am. Or the urgency of the message I bring. My uncle has a plan to right the realm. Mm. And he needs your help to see it through. Before I agree to anything... Do I'd have you me. answer one question. What do you stand to gain from all this? I won't deny that I might benefit from further chaos. But I seek a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones, I know I made them for the right reasons. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live, how we could die, when it should have been our decision all along. Now we have a chance to put things right. But in order to take it, we must stand together, even if it be beside those with whom we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw, but perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. I'll never hear the end of this. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to bring the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore order in their own territory. Wow. We'd be able to do that. Marshal. In the Imperial Army, too. But they are not the only ones we will need to convince. Rosaria. What do you mean? The Rosarians. I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals. Mm -hmm. oh. But those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. And when it comes to honeyed words, well, we will need an envoy. Oh my One goodness. who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. I, I'm too busy to be... I'm flattered. But I'm no diplomat either. Byron. And I have other problems to attend to. Yes. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. And I may know just the person. Is that so? Byron. And would he happen to be an outlaw too? Of a different kind, perhaps. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Unless there's I suppose somebody else. we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw in ourselves if we're to make it through this. Very well. Send your man to me right away. I shall. I shall. Uh, my lord Marquis. Your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to his manor in Port Isolde. And I will see that my associate joins you there. Okay, so we need to go to Very one other good, person. It must not be Byron. Who else? Hold on, hold on, who else would have... I mean, maybe Lubor? I mean, Lubord would be pretty great at doing that. <sighs> An envoy. I'm not sure I'm the man to talk anyone round. Mm -hmm. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. No. This is a job for someone with experience. Someone like Quinton. I hope I can convince him at least. Oh, I should have thought about that. Quinton, of course. Of course. All right, we need to go to Quinton. Oh no. Wait, speak with Quinton. He's over. Oh, la, yeah, lost me. That's right. Then we turn this in. We're getting down to the wire. Ooh. Oh my nose. Oh. I 
feel a sneeze coming on. Wait a minute. He would be back here. Wait, why did it spawn me to here? We go. To the Aurabella Downs. Yeah, but is he really... He'd be leaving the people that he's taking care of right now. I don't know if he'd even want to do that. But I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Ambrosia! Threading the needle over here. Okay. Fly. <gasps> These would be good hills. Hold on. Wait, let's run and jump. Is this a good run and jump hill? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the air! Oh! That was awesome. <laughs> oh, imagine from the very top. No, I don't think we could get that much height. We'll see. I'll try it on the descent. Oh, no, I'm going to fast travel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No need to ride oh. from here. Okay. Wow, there's more people than I'd ever. I'd followed Quentin to that manor if I could have done, and I'll keep following him now. But there were only five Where before. Quentin's going to build us new Lost Wing, and I'm going to help. Aw. New Lost Wing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He was inside the house. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry. Quentin, My bad. I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Hmm. Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. Will you marry? Can he really? You have me convinced the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride. Yes. And do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands <laughs> of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do mm. it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. So am I. And why am I? Oh. That be? What he's asking? How's it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? No. You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? that only we are worth saving. Why turn mm. your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Yes! Field Marshal Quinton had a greater good and purpose. He's currently in Porta Zolda. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. Nice. Nice. My uncle want to know that his plan is taking shape. Any statesmen we speak with are liable to resist our entreaties if they feel that what little power remains to them is at stake. <sighs> That's true. They must reckon Master Oh, Quinton sorry, I didn't mean to go you back up a hen's quim if he set his mind to it. Some things you just don't need to hear, and that is one of them. Or picture, because if you hear it, you picture it in your head, and I don't need to picture him putting an egg back up. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna finish out these two missions, drop them off in the hideaway. Wait, I think, yeah, we'll finish out these two and then we're gonna switch to doing some hunts and then we'll go do Lubor's and the two remaining ones. Uncle, I bring good news. Good the tidings. The Marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter's Older as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Hmm. Who? Exactly. Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. Yeah. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate. 
turned liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. <laughs> Another outlaw, then. Of Just the some. thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. Good thinking. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Mm. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. Seven high They have houses. all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Of wow. course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Who I did. That's right. The old mission. Yeah. Head steward Rockford from a horde of I forgot about that. Thirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. <laughs> well, the old battle axe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Now... I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Oh. Of course, Uncle. So that's another thing I need to do. Tell me that is not another thing I need to do. I'm not getting impatient. I just, the longer I take before I do the main mission, the less it's going to, oh, never mind. We're already meeting them. It um just pulls away from my attention and to the main story. how, tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? You find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. <laughs> well I'd certainly eat less. Oh, says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. Oh. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see how Quentin does. If I may, gentlemen. Perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside mm. to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion forgive the interruption two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you oh Us? no friends i can't stand the man clive i'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep and what kind of company are you expecting him to keep the man's a criminal criminal uh, how wow how dare you you are not fit to breathe the same air as this Fine. Upstanding <laughs> young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw. That isn't... Once more unto the breach. Look at me shaking my head in the background. <laughs> oh, there's more. <sighs> Look at the curl. Is that a... I'm Shall we begin again? Curl. What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. When we can't even have stability and to do between that, us three. We must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands, but the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Mm. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. There's a weird echo. What great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you 
The Triunity. Triunity. My quill. The Triunity, everybody. That was good. I like doing a mission for Byron. Is that it? Is that it? Are we back at the hideaway? What is it? Okay, yeah. Well, my boy. The stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Hmm. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. That you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. Aww. And there is no better Crandall than you. Aww. Clive, I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Oh, nice. The momentum. Thank you, Uncle. Is the unity. I really did enjoy that quest. That was good. I didn't see Quentin coming back, so that was actually, that was a lot of fun. The Tri Unity Accord. And we got Heaven's Cloud. Cool down. That was well done. Except he put me at the bottom of the docks, and I gotta go all the way over here. What that was really cool. That leaves five more, though. I still don't understand where we're getting these last five. But if actually remember that we got one from just talking to some people in the hideaway too. So I reckon we'll get some of that. And we have one from our brother for sure. <gasps> and I bet we get one. Okay, so we never, we, oh no, we got the quill from Harpocrates. I was thinking like maybe if we mastered his text. Hmm. I need to stop trying to guess and just let it happen. Who am I going to? These two. You should have seen. Welcome back, Sid. <laughs> Welcome back, Sid. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> I'm Welcome right here. Back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. Doesn't but surprise from me. From what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. <laughs> Uh, this is hard because I do believe that he deserves to pass it. He still did get the quest done, but he has so much to learn. But that doesn't mean that he could train under Gav and become a good... I, I mean, personally, I don't. I, I feel like there's a large heart side of me that says he doesn't deserve passing marks, but maybe at, like, another time. But, I mean, it's at the end of the game. Amber lost his Whatever. nerve in the face of a beast of prey. But he didn't lose heart. He pressed on. And he achieved his aim. And is that not what we ask of our scouts? Mm. Indeed it is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. The lighting. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws yeah. of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much okay, to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. Mm. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade. And any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conch and an half. A conch. Wouldn't do to waste it now. Would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. He is a bit I'll too eager. I'll spend my days and nights uh. in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. But I like him. Oh, now he's running off. as a brush there, huh? But his heart's in the right place. <laughs> it always says what Just I feel like I'm thinking. someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him. For far too long. That time yeah. the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Couldn't hurt. Yeah. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will ya? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. I think we need Next to thing go. You know, talk he'd to be you. asking for a day off. <sighs> Chance would be a fine thing. Back to work. Let's actually go talk to Gav before because I think that he might be one of our Forgive memories. Me, this. Did not play out as I expected. <laughs> what? Things really do these days. 
But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. Bye. Quest complete. Is it 40? 30? 40! <gasps> Guys, we're inching so close. We're like about a 300 away. Pile driver. The pile driver. Let's go talk to him. I actually believe that. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait. Did Gab always have a mission? Silver linings. Wait. Now Gab has a mission. He didn't have a mission before, I don't think. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a let's do a break to cover the rest of the marks that we have. Wait, are there more? No, to cover the marks that we have, just in case we have some more pop up, because as we can tell, like, yeah, I don't think Silver Linings was there. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We'll do them all. But I want to talk to Nectar. OK, and let's go do the rest of the hunts. Ow. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is the knight with the splendid heart. I guess I missed him because I came in from behind. Did he see me? <laughs> this is a oh, he turned around. He knew. Knight of a splendid heart. Rank A. This was one of the last two that got added to us that I think are both Sam Breck ones. You're the outlaw. The outlaw. The horror. Y'all know the deal. I'll pop a strength tonic too, just to have some fun with him. Break its posture. Okay, first of all, your highness is. Uh... Oh wait, 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 wait. Is he talking about Dion or is he talking about? Oh, okay. Like he's willing to listen. Yeah, so he is talking about Dion. Sir, you mistake me. Do this. Nice dagger. Slap him around with it. Build that up to three. Nice. I can't wait to be able to build up to five though. I feel like five is when we saw the biggest difference for like really putting in some big damage. Oh shoot, I had a limit break, didn't I? Ah! There he is. Ow! Sir! Please! The fury. The disrespect. Oh no, don't leave the battlefield. Okay. Okay, I was like, I was so worried that that was going to cancel it. I'm not trying to flee! Ooh! That was a cool parry. Nice. Phantom March. I feel like that's his main ability. Here we go. That should crush him. Almost. Almost completely. Okay. Oh, he's so close to being staggered. Wait, is he staggered? Oh, he is staggered. Nice. And I'll just finish it with the Blazer Reaper. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Farewell. Ooh, the farewell. But what did it give us? Oh, and we need to level up because after we finish all these notorious marks, we'll have the best weapon of all. At least we should. 35, 360. We didn't get anything from him, though. Damn it. Dion would have been glad to have yeah. you back on his side. Yeah, I mean, actually, that's a cool perspective that some of them maybe haven't heard about the, the joining of Dion with us and stuff. But yeah, it was kind of sad. He would have been great to use against some of the Akashic. All right, on to the next. Next, we have the Grim Reaper. Next. That's ready. We've never been to this castle, too. I should pop over here after. Somehow, I never explored up here. I hate these guys so much. Prince of Death, rank A. <laughs> Maybe this was X'd out earlier. 
Oh, do you see us like an ice wing and a and a red wing? Oh no, he's not on the ground. That's not gonna hit him at all. That's why these guys are so pesky. So pesky. All right, Lightning Molt was good against him. Yushiva's? He just disappeared. He's not gonna get hit by this. Maybe? Yeah, just not gonna be great at that. Oh. Woo. Nice. I think it's a follow up. Ooh. Really kind of messing him up there. He's following up with another deck. Oh, Prince of Death's got nothing on our precision dodges. Nice. That's not a lot, but that'll do. Nice, max that. Go ahead and plop that on. Let's Shiva up next. Torgol, smack him. I knew I did not get the timing on that one right. Oh, was that a Puma Cross? Oh. That's a permafrost right there. There we go. Also, let me get a heal real quick. Is it halfway? I'm gonna do another strength tonic. Soul Harvest. Oh no, I forgot about this one! That's a permafrost. Oh, there was some permafrost! No! That's a permafrost. Nice. I wish if you permafrost people, you actually got to do more damage on them. That also looks so cool being permafrosted right there. Staggered. Keep freezing him. Oh. Nice. There it is. Staggered. Didn't look at all. Shiva's ultimate. Although I should have saved that just in case, because we're going to have to stagger him again. Nice. Good ignition damage. And with lightning. Build up that. Cast this again, and then I think Flames of Rebirth will get him. I love that noise. That's so satisfying. The two more down, and we're back to three. If you guys recall, we had three at the end of yesterday's or the last video. And we got leveled up 48, 47. Man, we're only at 47. Dark Steel? Oh, that's gonna make something so cool, though. I'm getting tired of these things. You and I both, Clive. Trust me. You and I both. Tale as old as time. Come okay, on. guys, let's just pop over here real quick. See if there's anything for us to grab. I believe I see a chest, actually. There should be a chest right there. Nice, hop down. Could it be? Hop down. I'm acting like my... No, it's not acting like she's voice activated. All right, guys, next move, next mark. Try something terror. Let's do it. It's actually an S tier, by the way. I think this is the first S tier. A Gorgon Mira, 50 renown though. So you don't have to do everything to get maximum uh, patronage. There's no way. We're not gonna outrun this one. Oh Stay my gosh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Alright, pop Let this. Go. The Gorgon Mirror is so beefy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try it. 
try to get it before it leaves. Oh! Oh my gosh. Great balls of fire! <laughs> That is, I mean, he's a tank. I mean, he's like a full. He looks like a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> like... Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh! oh! I don't even know what he's talking about. Hey! Delta attack. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. Staggered. Limit break that. Strength potion this. Arm of darkness this. Here we go, here we go. Build it up, build it up, build it up. Nice. Get it built to three. Oh, shoot, he backed away. It's not gonna hit him. We can do that. Nice. Nice. Just keep pushing him. Oh, but he does a wombo combo. Oh, nice. Got into him. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Halfway. Half HP. Just keep kind of whittling him down. The S's are not necessarily difficult, just tedious. Oh, spicy. Oh, whoa, ah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know what those guys are going to do, but I don't like the icicles sticking around. Nice. Ooh. Does that help with that, by the way? Oh! Precision dodge. Another delta? Nice. Alright, get back in there. There we go. Build it up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let me break after. Do ignition on him. Nice. Still like one third HP. I mean, come on. How beefy can he be? Alright, there we go. Nice. You're so close. He's actually like right there. Farewell. There, yeah. Nice. That was an S too. I think we have an A and two more S's. And 50 Renown. I think that's everything I need for my patronage. Whoa, and we're close to, wait, what was that? Someone your own size. <laughs> nice, all right, next Notorious Mark. This is supposed to be the Usher to the Underworld. Yep. Sounds about right. <laughs> Thanatos. Thanos. He's only a rank guy, though. Look at his knees. Oh my goodness. Some vicious knees. Alright, let's just go ahead and just get out all of our ultimates. Freeze him, break him down. Wow, that posture bar feels so much easier than our previous one. The S tier just... That was brutal. All right, let's hit him with a lightning bolt. He's actually gonna break here, I think. Or just about. Nice, dagger. All right. 
ammunition. It looks like he might give us something good as well for like a weapon. And that means we can go into the final battle with all possible weapons. That's not good. That's not good. Oh. Bright. Oh, that was so bright. Mission. Honestly, just defiling him. Disrespect. Strength tonic, too. Might as well. Alright, put this weapon back on. Do that. Destrudo is the. Alright, little ball. Yeah. Little fireballs. Alright, here we go. Nice. Just dispatch them every time. Oh, that's a back to back. Oh. Nice. I was like, that might actually kill him. And then Flames to Rebirth, and he's died. Was that the fastest one? That was two minutes. It still felt, I guess, three minutes total. That felt like that was like 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't even think he got, he got like a couple good hits in at the very beginning, but that was it. Okay, hopefully we got a piece. Dark Steel, there we go. That's awesome. And don't come back. And don't come back. All right, we have two S's left, guys. Let's go get him. <laughs> that is a big boy. I felt like we fought something like this. I guess it was a curl. No. Oh, that's a behemoth. That's a full behemoth. Behemoth King, to be exact. Rank S. Okay. Oh my. My gosh. This is a hound of hell. Alright, get ultimate in there. I'm just gonna be living on a prayer here. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. The good thing about, like, hear me out, but, like, the big guys suck, but at the same time, they're honestly. They're easier to evade, I feel like, because they're so big. They don't do anything delicate. I don't, I don't know what's happening in our screen. That was good damage. Oh, what is that? Whoa! That was an insta-kill! Did you see that? I mean, it should have been an insta-kill. It wasn't, but... Oh shit. Ow. That's eye potion. I mean I'm just gonna have to use all my all my might for this. Nice, he's down. What was that? I can't get any damage on this guy. I mean, it's not even half HP. Okay, he is actually almost already, wait, do a lightning bolt. That'll actually stagger him out of whatever he was about to do. Nice. Okay, now he's half HP. Thank you. Woo 
I got really lucky there. Four horsemen? Oh, fiddlesticks. Thank goodness for the Berserker stuff. Pouncing cat. Okay, hold on. Ow. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Oh, that was bad. I'm swinging back. Such a little turkey. Oh my goodness. Flames of Rebirth, zoom me go. I'm getting sloppy. That's a whole boss. Ow. Knock him out of it. Yes, we cancel four horsemen. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm actually going to save that lightning attack, though, to break his posture because there's no way that we're going to apply enough damage here. So that'll be really good for later on. All right, so now let's just do it right away because he got that bar back. And then we're going to Odin Slammer. There we go. Nice, he's doing four horsemen again. Oh, yeah, I got tossed. Maelstrom. Get it off of me, 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 it's gonna wreck me. Oh. Ah. Oh, apocalypse. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Apocalypse now in this. I'm just kind of zooming through. That's already. Apocalypse again? How is he doing it again? Ow. What is that? I mean, it made him tired, but I can't get to him. I'm on my way. That actually really sucks. You kind of need Phoenix Shift to get to him faster. Like, truly. Let's see if we can stagger him. I have one potion. I'll use the strength on him real quick. I'll stagger him. Nice. Let's just see if we can apply enough damage. I don't know. Oh, we can. We have lightning. Yeah. That'll be. Yeah. He should stay dead after this. He should, mostly. Oh. Yes. Wow. Behemoth King, that was bad. That was bad. All right, 55, 20,200. And a level up, you guys. Level 48. The Behemoth Shackle. Oh. <laughs> no match for you, I eh, toggle. All Torgal, 100% Torgal. All right, guys, we have one last Notorious Mark, unless they throw more at us. All right, let's go. So I've triggered this before and I hightailed it out of here the last time I encountered it. But this time, let's fight it. Spar, Schmog. Gotta be kidding me. All right, let's just throw this out there so we can start trying to come back to us. Nice. Blazing Legion. Oh my, what is that? Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He does it multiple times. Also, how are you supposed to hit him with anything when he's so far away from you? I'm gonna need Phoenix Shift to get me up close. Staggered. He slams a rebirth. We need to build that limit gauge. Let's also put a strength tonic on. Get in there and smack his head around a little bit. Maybe if I could just target his body. Too slow. Nice. Swinging back. Nice. He's doing something. Nice. 
Alright, bring down that bar. Embroil, what is that? Oh, it's a jump -a mole Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, he's so close to Sagarin. What is Red Dawn? Oh my, oh my gosh. He's dive on me? What in fresh hell is this? Alright, ignition. Alright, save that for when we can actually break the posture bar. I should have saved hers as well. Because hers is so good at breaking that. That's unlocked. Alright, I need to be careful. Alright, cast this. Break that down. That'll at least get it close. Nice. Okay. Basically half HP. Just get it down the rest. Can't see anything. This is the terrain. Oh! Oh! Nice. Nice? Oh, not nice. High potion, too. Wait, you can freeze a whole dragon? I shouldn't be surprised. We figured this out in the other thing, but... Every time it's like, a whole dragon? You know... The lightning really didn't break it down as much as I thought it would. Thanks, boy. Okay, is that even hitting his head? That didn't even hit him. These things. Red Dawn is that... Okay, what are these things? I guess you can get hit by them. They don't seem like that optimal, but... Okay. Zoom, zoom. Who's that? Oh, the ball, the fireball. Nice. Oh, flames. That almost killed me. That almost killed me. That almost killed me too. What is going on? Holy cow. I just don't feel very powerful against this thing. Nice. We're still gonna have to break it a couple more times. Strength potion. Ignition. We'll have to break it at least one or two more times. Feel good about that. Feel good about that. Made these. It must be probably pretty difficult. Uh, well, I would say not like that difficult, but I'm trying to imagine about how you're like keeping a song going. You know, like while it's like while somebody's fighting for as long as they do. Like some of these fights take a while. And so to have the song continue without sounding like too repetitive. I don't know, maybe you guys feel like it is repetitive. All I know is this is our last mark, I think. Nice. Lightning him. We also might be able to break him down right here. Yeah, we might be able to because we can also Shiva him possible. Come on, apply enough damage. Close, but not. So, like, the amount of times that he survives by a single tiny little piece. Wait, maybe I can get close enough to, like, slap him? Come on. I think I'm actually gonna screw myself over in this. Oh, gosh. Okay, we staggered him. Nice. Let's see if it's enough. I don't know if it will be. I don't have any ultimates up. Maybe if I had ultimates up. 
was actually a pretty bad use of the stagger. Yeah, that was a bad use of the stagger. That's unfortunate. I mean, I could try to keep freezing him. Oh, shoot. Jump it. Mm. Jump it. Oh, gosh. Okay, precision dodge. That's good. That's good. He's diving in. Okay. Okay. Spinning. He's spinning. Okay, I still have high potion. Uh, Shiva might kill him. Come on, Shiva. He's down. Hunter hunted. Trophy earned. That has to be all of them. Woo! And we have enough to get our next patronage. Let's go. Oh my goodness, fallen enigma and an empty shard. Ah, that was awesome. Let's go. Look at him. Look at his little hand. To be or not to be. All right, guys, we, I will see you back in the hideaway. All right, we are back in the hideaway, you guys. We're gonna go do... There's something about it. It's called... Feel like he's... We're gonna do Doris's last mission, and then I'll also go talk to Gav. What's wrong, Sid, Doris? Do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. Mm -hmm. She found some way to send me a letter. And something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. Oof. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Balmung Foreign captives, Dark? the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her. Bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Nobody's Sid, over there. I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. Hmm. It's interesting that the other curse breaker we didn't allow to go with us, but we are allowing Doris. But it also, I guess it makes sense because we've done a couple missions with her. Plus she is the like commander, I believe, of the curse breakers. But yeah, I had a feeling when we left her last mission that it wasn't the end of her old master. We'll be needing the enterprise Should if we're going to navigate the narrow. Does that mean? I'm making an exception, but we travel together and we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. Mm -hmm. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A oh. name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit walls, just beyond the portcullis. The portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. And Chad's still Doris. alive. We gotta hope that at least he's still alive. Well, you heard the lady, guys. We gotta hurry up and skedaddle. So we're just gonna head straight there, actually. I think since we only have a few last missions, I might as well just do them in order. Yeah. Raven Wit. Did we have that? Oh, I should have looked inside. Oh, we probably could have fast traveled to a better smell. Never mind. <gasps> that was it. I guess I didn't remember. Oh my goodness. That is her last mission is that thing. Okay, now that's really cool. But this is going to be a hell of a fight. Yeah. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. A hell of a fight. Hey, there's so many Akashic here. I don't really want to fight them, but I'm going to do it. I, that was a waste. Never mind, I guess I was. How did it hit the surrounding party? Oh, we have our five now, don't we? No, we don't. Just kidding. Ignore me. I don't know what's going on today. There we go. 
Y'all can tell by outfits alone that this video has been filmed over the course of many a day. <laughs> I, uh, I don't normally record, like, four hours. Like, usually it's two hours here. Like, our old episodes used to be two hours max for some of the other games. So this, uh, this game has been some long, long pulls. Alright, we're ignoring that flying thing. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that this was Doris's mission, to be honest. Oh, this... Just ignore him. Ignore that guy. We'll kill the flame balls, but... What was that? Poor girl's working on the other one. There we go. Trying to keep them. Oh, it hit the other bomb. I don't even think they fought back at all. Alright, Doris. That... Yeah. There were... This is where they've been keeping all the bears. Well, loot just feels weird. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Mm. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. How did she get past the ether floods? Wait, weren't there ether floods on the stairs? She must have gone a different route. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer. I hope not. Mm. We're risking a lot just being here. Better keep my eyes open for signs of life. It'd have to be extreme. I saw somebody, yeah. Have to be extremely like to fight. strong to turn a bearer, right? Because they still are somewhat resistant. I feel like they have a pretty high resistance. Broitio? What is that? A name? A list of names? It's gotta be a list of names. Blumung, Balmung Dark. Writ of Designation. The Kingdom of Walud hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train a Kuza beast for deployment in field. The aforementioned purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Captive bearers have been provided solely for the pursual of the aforementioned purpose. Express permission is required for use of bearers in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison, and I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. No. It's despicable. A training ground for a monster. I hear something else. Hmm. Nobody's tool. There's a few more. Let's actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and clear them. Here we go. That's good. Oh, I see the other one. Let's actually go ahead and head upstairs. We'll circle back. Get him, Torgle. That's another reading, but before we grab that, let's go back over here. I don't know if there's any bears that would still be alive. I know. Oh, maybe this is later. Okay, this is later. Okay, then we are to finish the first. First floor first. It's a lot of swords just to be used for decoration. Recommendation concerning the Kuza beast deployment. The Kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it was hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. 
and exercises conducted thus far. However, the beast has proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants. As such, deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed instead that the bearer captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus, and the beast then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit with minimal loss of Waluda lives. Minimal loss of Waluda lives? Yeah, exactly. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Yeah, but did we expect the Waluders to take any sort of care? I mean, we know how Barnabas saw them. They've got to be on the second floor. Memorandum on Kuza Beast Feeding. Recent supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bearers, assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle, conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bearers may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bearers no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I feared. That's vile. Nothing but a caching down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. It makes, uh... Um, can't see how Doris is getting on. This is a good ending mission too, though, because this is another level. Like, I will say for how many side missions there are, and we're going to talk about it at the end. I do want to talk about everything with y'all, or as much as I'm going to remember in the ending. I try to, like, trinkle... I guess I just try to, like, trinkle my thoughts throughout the gameplay because it's really hard for me to, like, condense it at the very end after, like, hours and hours have been played. But, yeah, I want to talk more about the side quests in particular, but this one is good because it does show you a lot of just a lot of the heinous things that were done to bearers. Like we've seen it a lot inside missions. Like we see different people's stories. But I don't think we've quite seen one this in this way. Alright, pop this bad boy open. Nothing? Oh. Oh, we're still trying to find that last song, aren't we? I forgot about that. There's no sign of live bearers whatsoever. I don't think Chadwick's gonna be here. I think we'll find his body, if I'm being honest. Quick work. XP wise, we're at 32, so all we need is 5,500 to level up our uh, Odin ability. Oh no, what is it, Doris? No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents, and it can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this, this is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of, whatever that means. I'm afraid. It means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. She's so hard on herself. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Yeah. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. 
Yeah, I don't know. That voice actress is so good for Doris, you know? <laughs> No, it's actually kind of interesting. There's of all the of all the characters that we've heard Anna voice, at least me in particular, I feel like a lot of times she does a lot of characters that really line up or feel very strongly like her. But Doris's character, it's it's not hitting that for me. I mean, I think it's a it's a good character, but she's so hard on herself and um it's just an interesting it's an interesting side of leadership. I mean, I will say that everybody handles leadership different. And of course, it's a heavy, it's a heavy burden to be at the lead of the Curse Breakers and with her past as well. I don't know if they ever really described or talked about why Doris did become the commander of them or kind of the captain. I think it's more the captain. Feel like we'd hear we screaming or something. Here. It's very colossal. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, before we go, before we do that, let me loot. Let me loot. You know what though? I don't remember some of the crystals being lit. On the other side, I thought the crystals had gone out. Yes. <laughs> Survivor. She sounds close. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Who are you? There were children here. There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. Mm. Of course there were. Check the work. founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready that when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Chadwick sent you? Chadwick? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others, too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Oh, that's not good. Was that? Mm. Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, uh. keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bear-eating bastard in the ground. Okay. Oh. It's out there waiting for me. Oh. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bears. What's in there? Nothing. Yeah, it's blue. He's blue. I don't remember Blue's Clues looking like this. Slay the Kuza Beast. Right, yo. What do I have? Okay, six potions, five potions, two, two strength tonics. To business. All right, let's do it. Blue's clues on steroids. 15k, 35 or now. That's a notorious mark that we happen to stumble upon. And it's only an A? If it ever leaves the prison. Ow. I, I don't even know what happen. I'm doing right now. Let me get out of here real quick. <laughs> Hold on, let me just cast this. Cast all my ultimates. What is she doing? Good damage. Ow. Gosh. Me and these notorious marks. Alright, there we go. Ultimate. That should at least semi stagger. Nice, that's a half dagger. Ooh. Comet? I don't know what that is, but I don't like that. Oh. Oh. It's like Behemoth. It's like Behemoth, yeah. It's got back legs. Oh, a tail force. Interesting. Okay, staggered. Okay, a 
it's not that bad. It just packs a powerful punch. I can't see what's happening. I don't know why I'm... What, what is my screen do? Oh, I'm inside of him. Oh my gosh. Why was it like that? That was bad. Comment. I hate the comments. But I'd actually rather be closer to it so you can just jump right away instead of having to time it. Except for that, because he's right there. Ignition him. Oh, he's doing his tail flip. Shiva. Crack his posture. Nice. Okay, and then let's actually finish that posture bar with this. That should help. Come on. Woo! Ow. Woo! No shot. Uh, break the stagger bar. Nice. Limit break. Ignition him. Alright, well this time we're not inside him, so it's an uh, upgrade, to say the least. Okay. Boom. Na 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 na. 32. That was only 90 ability points. Are you kidding me? Behemoth Shackle. Used for crafting. Oh my gosh, guys, the notorious marks, the new crafting items we have. I haven't even thought about it yet. Ah! I just got so giddy. And we have three more notorious marks that I have to. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine. I think. Why is she looking at us like that? That was really weird. <gasps> no. Like that. His journal. What is that? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. Yeah. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. Mm. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Uh, Gav has somebody to look after now. She has somebody to look after. Poor Chadwick. Another Chad bites the dust. Sometime later, the girl. Is that the infirmary? No, that's somewhere else. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. Mm. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. Mm. That's the man I remember. Heide Marie is her I name. thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Here we of go. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So mm. we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. 
After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick and for all of us. Mm. Thank you, Doris. We'll be Doris. counting on you. Goodbye, Doris. I wonder if she gave us a memory, actually. I feel like she would have. Nobody's tool. No, but she did give us the Breath of Darkness, which is for your gung, and I don't have gung, so. Nice. No, it's fine. Collectibles. Different kind of collectibles. I suppose it's time for our dear friend Gav, wouldn't you say? Oh. And then we'll go around and talk to... Okay, so basically the game plan for the rest of... There's more. There's more Notorious Marks. <laughs> I'm gonna go insane. Okay, so I think the plan is, because you guys have already seen some stuff, I'm gonna finish these side missions, except for I'm gonna save, I wanna save um, our dear brothers for the very last, but I do wanna make sure we do gaps real quick, so we'll do silver linings, then we'll do lubors, then we're gonna go around to everybody, talk to them, see if there's anybody else. Um, like I said, finish the Notorious Marks and uh, We'll finish this episode with reading, and then you guys are going to see tomorrow. I repeat, tomorrow is going to be the final, which will be an extra upload. You be careful up there. But yeah, I think that we'll just keep the ending being separate. Oh, and I want to try to do some of the fight stuff. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Gav, what's up? Oh, you all right? You off then? Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, you all right? Or uh, about that. If there's anything I can do to help you kill this Ultima bloke, you just say the word, eh? You could promise to take Sid's name off my hands. <laughs> Oi! Don't even joke about that. Anyway, I thought you said you hadn't finished with it yet. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Now, if you wanted to give me an even grander title, something to rival your Sid the Outlaw, that'd be a different story. Let's see. Gav the Magnificent? Gav the Almighty? Gav the Lionheart? Something along those lines. I'll leave that to you to decide. I'm sure you're more than capable of choosing the perfect moniker for Sid's right-hand man. <laughs> it's weird because you can kind of see their mouth move, but not. Right-hand man, eh? I'll take it. Silver lining. Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just that his baby will be coming soon, and no way. I wanted to make something for it. Oh. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. Yeah, I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes. Like, so, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Give her a mushroom. Yes, I'll get you Is again. there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. All right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm. But not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No. One made from the feather of a silver chocobo. Okay. <laughs> There's not luck in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their uh -oh. suppliers, but nothing. I try and track one down myself, only... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need. A feather. A silver lining, that, or I the see. bird whose arse it's attached to, aye. <laughs> I was gonna start by asking around with traveling traders plying the northern borders. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. Hmm. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. They couldn't have just made this a uh, go kill this chocobo and get a feather. You have to go ask people where it's at first. I just... 
Uh, let's top up our potions while we're here, just in case we run into any Twice. creepy crawlies. Uh, let's ask about Origin. Here to say your goodbyes, are you? For now, then. For now. You'd better come back, or I'll fly up there and drag you home by your ear. Thank you, Karen. That's exactly what a nan would say. Didn't you think... <laughs> didn't think you'd find that thought appealing? <sighs> Look, just don't die, all right? I change and leadership's bad for business. Our year off to kill a god. So what? You've done everything else you put your mind to, haven't you? You could do this too. Oh. All right, bye. Oh, first weighing you down. It's weighing me down. Wait, what's the circle of heaven? Oh, that's right, that's right. Which I actually think... Uh, mm. All right, buy the potions. It'd better buy all be potions. Yeah. Buy another elixir. We have so much money It'd now. All be Might here. as well just top up everything. I'll find a better price than that. Okay. Goodbye, Karen. So we need to go to Martha's rest. Then we'll find out. Hopefully we don't have to kill the chocobo. For one single feather, that's like a waste of a chocobo. Let's just sneak up and like pick it off a bit. Just a wee feather. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> a silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. Yeah. Though you're not the first to mention Somebody a else? bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some guide hovel, not far from Eastpool. Nice. Most I know exactly where that is. For a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. You know where that is, right? Remember the hovel by the water? Oh, we have to go talk to more people. There's a hovel right here. I have to talk to three people, I guess, to hone in on it. Or maybe there are three different locations. Oh, there it is. Oh, I haven't seen you before, inquisitive merchant. How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone. Or perhaps a bawdy etching of a vicerine. Uh, <laughs> maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumours are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. They so weren't helpful at all. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Oh. Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, their I reckon bows. they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. Well, that was not useful at all. And there should be one more person. Probably not up here. They're probably in the back alley. The one merchant already told us a hint. Does it? The people of the rest may seem to be in high spirits, but give them a little wine, a little company, mm -hmm. and the tears soon begin to... The tears... <gasps> Maybe down here? Yep. Just looked like a merchant. What is his name? Can I help you with something? Grocer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. <laughs> But if it's fancies you're yep, after, Rhiannon's ride. I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Told you. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> that is true. A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rhiannon. It's fastest to just walk there. Right. It sounds almost too good to be true. But since I'm already here... Hmm, I feel like this is going to be a wild yeah. chocobo hunt. Oh yeah, they have the defenses up. Good for them. I forgot about all of that. It's nice to see things actually have changed around here. That thing, it's glowing now. It's glowing now. It's glowing now. Okay, I do want to do it, but we're going to go around to all of those at a later point. Don't even worry. I want to see what they are before the final fight. Like if they give you something really Perhaps. good. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My bandits for a change. Oh, I see it, I see it. They do look like chocobo feet. <gasps> They're chocobo tracks. They are. 
But they may not be silver chocolate but tracks. More tracks. And these look fresh. Maybe it's the Chocobo was here. And recently. Perhaps it still is. I mean the abandoned house can make for a good nest. Maybe it's pregnant. Maybe it's a pregnant chocobo and it's just nesting. I don't hear anything. It's a chocobo nest. It is. But it's not. I don't think it's pregnant. Well, I'll be damned. Take two. Just just in case. I love how they decided to do that as the noise, like the subtitle for it. I, oh, it's a couple. Oh, I love the little shimmy. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. We're not borrowing. Just say we're taking the feather. Thank you. I want to kill all the surrounding creatures so that they don't hurt them. Let's get this back together before they change their minds. It was the shimmy shimmy. <laughs> back to Gav. That was a easy enough mission. Not bad at all. Lubors is probably going to take a little. The Lubors is important. Mm. Trying to think. Uh, yeah, up here. It was no trouble. No, oh, the spy or the other, the other, um, Clay, you're back. The sniff guy, the How other, you get on any luck, scout. <laughs> any luck, you say? I happen to. To the people of the north, silver chocobos are a symbol of good fortune. The mere sight of one potentially meaning the difference between a failed harvest and a bumper crop, according to Gab, at least. Crystals crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there has been abandoned for years. It's perfect. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I... Fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on East Pole's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long. That's Even true. if you hadn't have turned up, they'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. <laughs> anyway, what matters is you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. I want to see what they get. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. It's probably true. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. Oh, a bone. What did you say it was from again? Bone carving. An avis? But it weren't your avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. Really? So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. Good for there Ember. We go. That's beautiful. What do you think? We better get to see him give it I to her. I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. <laughs> I will, I. <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Huh, you can give it to yourself. Come on. I do want to see this. I think it's so sweet. Don't make me have to run to it. Just, oh my, oh God. Okay. <laughs> just like, just transport me with you. Why do I have to go all the way? <sighs> okay. I think what has happened is it's not the need to like end the game, but at some point you hit this like, you hit this place where you're like, you start seeing like, it's like a scale, right? It's like, you're liking them, you're liking them. And then it's like, 
you just hit your point where you're like, okay, this is this is too much. Or there's certain things about him that you're like, this doesn't make sense anymore. This feels like filler. And then it just like, you start dive bombing. You're like, it's hard to, it's the, I like quality over quantity when it comes to side missions. And I know you guys are going to get on me because I talked about wanting side missions for the longest time, but I wanted like quality. And these are good. I'm not saying they're they're bad, but it's parts of the side missions. I just wish the side missions were more streamlined. I think that they're pretty fluffy. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Mm. Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is is. Uh, uh, Go on. Uh, Please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. Oh. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a bairn's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. A bairn. To let him know that they're part of the family too oh I, I, ho I hope you like it i i don't know what to say i thank you my lords for everything if there's anything you need just let us know i will ah <sighs> clive fancy a swift off i'm thirsty i could be convinced Swift half. Half a pint. All right, back to the bar. <laughs> oh, look at the bread over. I don't think that's half a pint. Don't you think you've had enough? No, oh, we're celebrating. I'm going to be a father. Wait, what? <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Not really. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> <laughs> it wasn't long after me tenth name day. My mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. Mm. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. Music right here. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. Not with that self pity. Have you finished? <laughs> Maybe. Do you know why? You're our best scout. I was gonna say, he knows yeah. he's worth something. Like, he's literally the because number Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Also true. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like, uh... <laughs> wow, that's a blast of the past. That was only the once. Exactly. <laughs> You learned from it, and here you are after founder knows how many missions, stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Mm -hmm. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? 
Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Aww. And everybody has self-doubt, so I get, like, sometimes it is nice to hear that from somebody. Your brother. And a good one at that. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room <laughs> and your sword. <laughs> As brothers do. It's still, those drinks still bother me. I feel like the wide end should be at the bottom and then it would get, I just, the cups still bother me. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me. Does he give us something? Did he whittle something for us? Oh, there's more. <laughs> I may have the scene had one changes. too many. You may have had 10 too many. Mm -hmm. uh, I said I was thirsty. You said half. Better get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. You're just gonna walk it off? Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know. I know. Oh. <laughs> They're like, we can't talk about it. We shared our feelings in an emotional time, but we can't talk about it now. <laughs> Shh, people will think that we're emotional. We got winter mead, a potent potable, potent potable, made from honey collected in the Northern Territories, short summers and fermented slowly over the next six moons, said to warm the belly of the North's cold winter at nights. I said I was thirsty. Yeah. Okay. So, that really Guess just leaves back. Lubor's mission. Let's go see Lubor. I've been putting it off because I just hope that it, I mean, I'm sure we'll have a semi happy ending, but I just, I care about Lubor a lot and I hate to see that town like Dallin Mill is what it is because of him. And then they turn their backs on him. I wonder how he's been faring. Why is everyone being mean to Lubor? No. He didn't do anything wrong. Ren. I'm going to go with him. He's still thinking about leaving. Oh, he has his... Yeah. What is this? An exchange for... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, great sword forged to the speci specifications here under. Red rooster trading will pay the sum of 1,000. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's about, but... Here to help me pack. No. Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. I'm almost finished already, in fact. You're really going to go through with this, then? I am. Mm -mm. But before I go, there is one small issue I'd like your assistance with. Well, two, in fact. The kids. If it's within my power to help you, I will. It's the children. I refuse to let them share in my disgrace. And if I leave them here, they surely will. Our friendship would see them ostracized forever. Mm. But I can't take them with me either. I can think of only one place where they are certain to be safe and provided for and loved. The hideaway. Which is where you should come. Of course, but still. Of course. The children would be more than welcome. Thank you, Clive. I will not forget this. Lubor, are you still here? Yep. What is it, Ferda? You look pale. There's been a flood in the Velcroy, a mm -hmm. damn big one. And then something the happens to where they see. It was yeah. completely submerged in ether. What? And they're headed here. Every last one of the bastards has turned. And they're headed this way. And he's going to step up. Thing. But a Kashik bandits are quite another. The town guard won't stand a chance against them. We need to evacuate. There's no time to lose. Further, gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. You must make ready to cover the townspeople's escape. Well, yep. What are you waiting for? Yes, my lord. Oh. He's still throwing the my lord title there. Clive, change of plan. 
The children stay with me for now. Well, has always I respected him, I think. Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate evacuation. Understood. Okay. I'll do what I can to convince everyone else. Wish me luck. And then they're gonna see just how much. <laughs> but it's like, I guess they can only see what's right in front of them and not the past a million things he's done for everybody in this town. What's an you have to listen to me. They're coming. What's an Akashic? Why do they they don't even know. <gasps> Guys, you gotta stop. Ah, it's you. Oh my goodness. Here we go do again. Want Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the Velcroy. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now, and they could be here at any moment. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? Uh -huh. And who was it who gave you this disturbing <sighs> news, might I ask? Lubor, perhaps? The man spreading the same poison out in the square as we Why speak. would he make this up? You may believe his lies, my lord. Oh my... But we know better. I can't deal with that. why about something like this? <laughs> Some twisted attempt at revenge, perhaps. <laughs> if he had not been unmasked, he may well have been elected our leader. A great honor for one of his kind. One he might well feel aggrieved at having been denied. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has become all too evident where your sympathies lie. Lubor cannot be trusted, and neither, therefore, can you. <laughs> you may not trust me. But for the sake of your people, ask yourselves if there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be certain of that. Oh now my. Off with you. I really wish we could just let them die. Like, I'm sorry, that's so mean. But the, <laughs> the writing just doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. Like, I get that they're trying to portray, like, no how a whole town would turn on somebody that's been exposed as hiding the fact no that they're a bearer, but. It just feels There's almost extra. After the amount of times that the bandits have come after them. I should speak to Lord Foda. You need to evacuate. This one just rubs me wrong. I think we better shut up. What's Lubo raving about? Oh my goodness. It, it's like, and also it just makes me what? feel like it's an entire Commotion hive mind. I ask myself, a sudden stampede of customers towards my humble stall? No. It was a stampede of oh my goodness. Away from Lubor's. Oh, wait, hold on. I know it's insane, but <laughs> real quick, traveling merchant, hold on. What are you selling that's different? Rift slip. Ah, oh, the rift slip. No need, and I already have that, so we're Go good. Go with Gilbert. Sir. Ferda. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but. They wouldn't listen. Like, really? They've convinced wouldn't. themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The bloody fools. Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. If there's anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid, further! I've been looking for you everywhere. Victor! Victor? I thought you'd left. Mm -hmm. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Aww. Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly. Oh, no. Oh, what have they done? What is it? What is it? What is it? They're turning on him? You have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire. And they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There will be no parley, no mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. Come I do not on. ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. I like that if line. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Oh! <laughs> Did he just? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, bearer? Wow. Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. 
You who should run! <gasps> run, Farah! <laughs> yeah, run! run. Yeah, far, far away! Run. Run. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Just go, Farah! Yeah. 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 Go. go on, then. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Just go, just, just go. Yeah. Wait, someone's coming. What do you mean, oh, the children? Stop! You're hurting him! Wow. Wow. I really actually am okay if the Akasha kills them all. What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? <laughs> Tarika, get him! He solves all your stupid problems, and he keeps all of you safe! Tell him! How can you a children make more sense? You know nothing he wouldn't do for this town! Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? It should be a shame. Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day every day making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever. <laughs> but did Lubor ever complain? Well, does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going. And you act like it doesn't even exist! Oh. I have so many, like... Lubor! We have heard enough. No! Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> so tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. I like the way that it's turned around. I just, right, it's just. Uh... Fine. He's a bigger man than most. To turn back from that after being stoned in the streets. Don't want to die. <sighs> it's just like. Uh... It's just because it's like everybody is hive mining together to like be villains to fit the narrative. And then the two children are the ones that think straight. And obviously sometimes kids can just see it for how it is. Or sometimes we overcomplicate it as adults. I get that. But it just feels... Ugh. Yeah. But we do need to fight them now, so. And Allow I guess they'll be elected. The situation. The ether flood occurred near the village of Cheratina, deep in the Velcroy. The place had been abandoned for years, until the League of Outlaws decided to make it their base of operations. Now they're all turned, and if the scouts reports are correct, heading in this direction. Mm. They are mindless monsters, driven only by hate and rage. And they are utterly unpredictable. With the bandits, we at least knew how and where they were likely to attack. When these creatures come, Delamil will have the bitterest fight it has ever faced on its hands. They're always fighting off people. will muster at the north gate. The rest of us will take the south. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers, ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic Force as soon as it is spotted. And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position and see that it is driven back from Delamil at all costs. Conrad. Can I count on the support of the town guard? Always. 
I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor. And the command of our men in yours, Ferda. If you would both I be like so how kind, much the cowl consider it done. is getting like windy. Like, but their hair isn't even moving in the wind. Naturally, but it's <laughs> I would ask that you and your people have the townsfolk barricade themselves inside the bathhouse. And tell the merchants not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserving life is our one and only concern. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. Mm. Our riches can be regained. And if anyone doubts that, let it be known that the Briar's Kiss stands ready to cover any losses. Ow. Very well. I shall tell them. Where do I fit into this plan? Be everywhere all at once. else but the most perilous place of all. Yeah. I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlaws, Cheratina itself. The main host is most likely still there, and Dalamil will not be safe until it is eradicated root and branch. I do like that. A little gardening. How pleasant. <laughs> I doubt it. I have a feeling these weeds will be particularly stubborn. Luckily, so am I. Hmm. So you are. All right, then. We all know what we have to do. Now it's simply a matter of doing it. For Dalamil. For Dalamil. I still don't feel like they deserve it, but for Dalamil. Yeah, Lubor, I mean, that entire mission just shows how Looks incredible like Lubor is. Hold on. I was ready. I better not keep them waiting. Because to be there and be stoned in the streets and then turn around and accept their not even apology but just request for assistance i think most people would not show the same There's the flood reaction the or resolve they did. Us inside all right let's go up and around some crazy floods Let's just go ahead and kill those guys right away. Nice. Zoomed him. Zoomed to the other guy. There was only like, what was that, two scouts? Oh. Torko, you messed him up. Wrecked him. I didn't press anything. That was really weird. I don't know why it did that. Can't leave a single one alive. Alright, do this. Hold them closer. Hold them. Very nice. Put that person, put him up against the wall. I think they've been here before, actually. Yeah. Nice, got him. Perfect. Put the blade back on, smack him around a little bit. Oh, level three. Does that even kill him? Okay, it does, it does. Okay, it more than kills him. It's when you know you've been playing for long enough that you remember every little sound. Whoa! There's something big behind him. Do you see that? Get the big guy. I thought I saw a dragon. Oh! Ow. Oi. Nice. Cast ultimate. Nice, staggered. Uh, let's do a slappy slap. Zoom through. And then get this to three. And then we'll cast this. Doesn't do that much damage against the... Is that a gentleman? Gentleman. Nice. Like that. Oh, oh my 
gosh, I could have stayed on it. Dang it. I was like, that might kill him, but no. Okay, bring that. Oh. The noise he made when he died. All right, let's see. 35. We still need basically 2,000 more to be able to have that before we go on to the final mission. The League is disbanded. <laughs> I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fared. The League is disbanded. I think we eluded those, maybe. This ends with them electing him as leader. It has to. Oh, look at the clotheslines up above on the roof. I don't think I had noticed those before. All the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. Seems that might be the last of them. The last of them here, perhaps. Lubo, sit. Clive has returned. Sit. Clive! What news from Charitina? Charitina. It's done. Root and branch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, my lord. Friends, the Horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been defeated. And we need not fear the arrival of any more, thanks to Clive. Victory is ours. Woo! We bloody did it. We saved Dalamil. Even though you didn't believe me, but, uh... <clears throat> Lubor, allow me to apologize. After all you have done for this town, we should never have doubted you. But we did. And for that, we are truly sorry. At least they apologize. We only hope that you can forgive us. We need you, Lubor. Dalimil needs you. So, if you would still like to be considered for the position of mayor, mayor. you have our backing. You do remember that I'm a bearer, don't you? We do. But that is not a stain on your character. Mm. It is a stain on ours. My we job. thought only of what we perceived bearers to be, not what you truly are. The man who saved Dalimil twice over. Maybe three times or four times. I see. But I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. Name them. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the Town Guard and the Merchants League do not accept my leadership, mm -hmm. it will be doomed from the start. Mm -hmm. Unity is the key to defending Dalamil. And I do not doubt that we shall need to call on our combined strength again. When that time comes, I will expect us all to pull together. Just as we did today. Of course. You have our word. And secondly... You will accept that if I am to lead you, no the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Mm -hmm. Any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other citizen. They will not be judged by what they are, but who they are. As we failed to do, and came so close to losing everything. We agree to your conditions. Yay! And we have only one in return. That you continue like to work for the good of Dalimil. Arm on shoulder. As you always have. Hmm. Condition accepted. <laughs> well then, it seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. Do I get some sort of special hat? <laughs> Please tell me he's wearing a hat in the next scene. No. Okay. How fickle fate can be. Yeah. Not so long ago, I had resigned myself to leaving Dalamil in disgrace. And now, I find myself her leader. Here. Mm. For everything. Mm. 
Lubo. About the children. Leave him here. Fear not. You are, of course, relieved of your responsibility. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. Okay. I'm sure they're safe here. I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children, but everyone in Dalamel. His signpost. We're I'll definitely getting the signboard. do my best. Can't have all your hard work going to waste. All right, we're talking. The kids. Cute. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, that's cute. I liked that quite. I mean, I like parts of it. I didn't like how I just I have a really big problem with like flip floppy ca characters, but that just happens in games. It's just like you can't not have people just. Oh, and they opened up my mind trophy earned. And they opened up my mind. I don't know. I don't know what that's in relation to, but I guess it was that particular mission, maybe. Or maybe because we've done all of our people's quests? Maybe? I can't actually be sure. Let's uh, run back to my house real quick. Yeah, it, it might have been that. So our very last side mission, you guys, is in fact my brother's. And I believe that is, like, no kidding, the last of the last. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to peep this because I know that we haven't collected everything on the back wall. I'm going to step out for a second. And when I come back, we're going to go talk to everybody. We're going to let me look at wall memories. Uh, I also am going to so I'm going to go finish that hunt board. But you're going to see all of the hunt boards together. They're going to be like one solid thing. Briar's kiss board. So there's actually three that we're missing here. True entity winter mead so i'm not gonna look at these yet these last three because i think i might have an idea of how i get them by just going and talking around to everybody so i will be right back and we'll go find those and yeah this is gonna be like a long one but this is a tying up everything before we move into the the final act so i'll be right back all right so to finish up our final segments of our game before we do our last final side mission I just want to tell you guys that I just did a peep because I knew that one of them is acquired in the hideaway. The other one was, in fact, in Lost Wing. You have to go to the tippy top of um, the Hanged Man's uh, tavern or whatever. And so that's where we got this. And I think I know where our very, very last one is. I also did go ahead and look up what we get for completing those trials. Now, it looks like there are seven total trials and they're gonna give us one of the memories for the back of Clive's chambers. And as much as like in my heart, as much as I would like to do that and complete the back wall, I just don't think we're gonna do it. I think that I can see myself coming back and doing the trials when the DLC comes out. I think whenever they do release a DLC, if they release a DLC, we'll come back, we'll do those trials as a part of that in preparation for me to like get back into the combat and everything before the DLCs, all right? I just wanna like set your expectations for that and I'll also know why I haven't completed everything in the back wall. How may but I for help now, you today, Clive? That claim your just desserts. is the last of the patrons and the last of the song. Every epic starts with a single word, every symphony a single note, this is but the beginning, and for shall your legend be told, for else shall your legacy be sung. And with that, we got Careful Whisper, Achievement Unlocked, and we now have every single song. All of our hunt boards are completed. Does Kubo have something to say? Oh, no. Is there anything new, or is that it? Like, I mean, I'd assume it. That's it. That's it. Okay, so we have Nectar's Adventures. Let's go check all of our missives because we'll have the last of the notes there. And then we'll just circle around the hideaway, talk to any of our um, main characters, like anybody we've done a quest for and stuff. We'll talk to them and see if there's anything additional for us to learn. And then we'll do Joshua's and uh, get going. But let's hear this final symphony. I believe it's all the way down here. There it was. Sail Forbidden Seas. Oh. Okay, that's a little bit too much, but we'll do hide hideaway. 
All right, start with the missives and then we'll work our way back. Also, weapon upgrades as well. Oscar. We'll forget this kindness, my same, Lord. same conversation. Go to His dialogue has not changed at all, even though Eastpool is done. Okay. So we have the true unity. Try, try unity. There we go. Bringing together three men from differing backgrounds was not to be without some difficulty. However, come together we did for a better Valisthea. The try unity was but a first step. A longer, more bitter journey awaits us all, one that will almost certainly end in hardship. Yet what matters most is not the destination, but what we learn from one another while on the road there. You have paved the road for us with your courage, Clive. Now we must have the courage to walk it. Your loving uncle. A hideaway welcome. Etta seems fond of the silver bow we gave her, so much so that she's been taking to setting it atop her belly as she rests. To hear her tell it, the rascal kicks something fierce when she does it, too. Sounds like we're having another fighter on our hands. And none too soon. I can hardly wait to teach our newest little curse breaker everything I know. Though I suppose we can all celebrate first. No need to get ahead of ourselves now. Gav. And a new day. I am not so foolish to believe that a single shaming at the hands of the town urchins can dispel a lifetime of hatred built up in one's heart just as a pot cannot be made clean by reminding it of its grime. It takes effort, persistence, and more often than not, a stiff brush and bucket of lie. But more than that, it takes time. Fortunately, your courage and leadership has granted us just that. We now must decide whether to embrace or waste it. A wise man once said, the night is always darkest before the dawn. It is a good thing that I count one who burns so bright amongst my friends. Oh, that is sweet. Jill, anything before I go? Clive. Oh? Do you have a moment? Yes. Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. What? See, this is why we talk to people. Is they this? give us stuff. I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. <gasps> the piece she said you liked best. The silk. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. <laughs> it's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When Aww. I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. White is the color of faith. Faith in your friends, your family, your purpose. Unblemished, unfeigned, just like my faith in you. Our faith. May it ever steer us true. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Mm. Thank you, Jill. The silken handkerchief. Was that not... That wasn't for the wall of memories then. Interesting. That was a bonus. It must be a bonus. Hmm. It's not a gear and icon. It's just an item. Interesting. Wait. Yeah. A small square of embroidered silk gifted by Jill. That's it. I mean, I know that's, I mean, it's sweet. It's not like it's just it, but. Oh, I like this couch. I don't even know if I noticed that before. Okay, so our missives are done. We've talked to Jill. We've talked to this guy. Let's go talk to our faithful blacksmith. Although I don't think he has anything. Maybe he has like a... Oh, maybe if you can forge one of the weapons, it's like a... Oh, there it is. The Godder. Godder or something, something. Wait, Ice Brand. That's actually less. But oh my goodness. Look at that. If Ragnarok was forged to mark the War of the Gods, then this, meaning Twilight of the Gods, was forged to mark the fall of self-same deities. Boom. Lost you a good while. Half past Twilight, new achievement unlocked. We also now have, oh my gosh, these are the bees of the knees. No scratches, all right? Nice. And then nothing spectacular for, really? Wait, maybe it's down at the bottom? The sun. Oh no, I needed the stained loincloth and marble flower. 
I guess I just should have been better about what I was picking. I mean, this is really beneficial for us. Wait, what's that? Oh, maybe I don't know what I already... Oh, I'm... It's because I have the son of it. I'm such a goof. It's because I already have the best of the best. Yeah, so if we go up here... Yeah, they're all yellow. Except for this. That's it for our faithful blacksmith. Let's talk to Goot, see if he has... I did it, Sid. I made friends with all the animals in the hideaway. <laughs> But you know what I'd really like? Oh. My own goblin? Uh -uh. Or maybe a marble or a bomb. If only if it was a big one. No, that no, 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 no. A bander curl, but not a cactuar. A bander curl? Nope. Ooh. I don't think he has anything Ooh. new. What is it? Origin? Um. I wish I could go up there with you. Doesn't seem right, leaving everything up to you three. It's hardly everything. There's plenty that still needs done down here. Like seeing our stores, keeping Karen safe. Only you can do that, Goat. And Oops. I will. I promise. I promise. I won't let Nan come to no harm, no matter you what. You can count on me. Just like we're all counting on you to come back safe and sound. Okay. Be careful out there. Thank you. Say what you will. Lady Karen is All right, let's pop down here and see if our botanists have anything to say to us before we head out. Um, and then we'll go see Joshua. It's all coming to an end. Look how beautiful it is. Like, they've seriously made it come alive down here. Mm, a few more of these and the deadlands will seem less dead. <laughs> these flowers are beautiful. Yeah. But here we have to walk through the I'll see that you're properly watered and manured, Martel. Aww. The Martel. I don't know if the guy's here. He might not be. Oh, yes, he is. Anything to say to you me, sir? You didn't worry about the backyard, Sid. We're here, so you don't have to. Okay. Yeah, it's really transformed down here. It's cool to see that happen over time. I think it's been over time. I'd have to see, like, a comparison. Let's go check on the students, and we'll look at mid before we go, too. For better or worse, may not have liked every single character, but they do have a special place in my heart. And so does this game. Oh, and we need to go to the top section, too. Let's see if she has any new writing. Is it the same story? The three-gallant knight. Miss Shirley says your book's made quite an impression on the children. Aww. You've inspired them all to become writers themselves. Shirley. When you return, would you mind teaching the children another lesson? They did so enjoy your And loss. Shirley. Okay, I can't say anything to the children. I've already read those books. Let's go upstairs before we go back down. You know, I always feel like there's so many more people to talk to, but that's not true. There's... There's not really anybody up here. Do you suppose it's magic? That guy's not even here anymore, the curse breaker. But we talked to Ta uh, Taria, and she gave us something. Did Mid, Mid gave us some memory? Yeah. Oh, we do have another conversation with her. Model? You spent a lot of time on it. We both did. What, that old thing? Not healthy to cling to your failures, Clive. But weigh you down, you know. Sound advice. Still, I suppose my prototypes will probably be worth a fair bit when I'm as famous as Bart's the Builder. <laughs> Seeing as you're always strapped for coin. Okay, it's not always. It Just make sure you get a good price when you do come to part with it. I'd say that was up to you as much as me. Wait, so we do get it. Wait. Okay, we already had it. You're not leaving already, are you? The Enterprise. Enjoy it while you can, Clive. Because once the crystal's cracked, I'm going through with my plan. <laughs> Won't be easy turning my dream back on a dream I chased for so long. But you know what's the best thing about dreams, Clive? They're never short in supply. We keep talking like I'm the only one who will ever have her sights set on the skies. When there might be something or someone up there already. Imagine that, eh? <laughs> someone, maybe when his imperial fancy pants gets back, I can ask him to take me up there to see for myself. <laughs> Till then, Till though, I'll be down here with everyone else, dreaming away. 
Couldn't you have chosen somewhere a bit more down to earth for your chat with Ultima? <laughs> then I couldn't, then I could have come with you. Finally made a name for myself. Instead of sitting on me arse while his Imperial fancy pants gets all the glory. Imperial Make fancy pants. Yourself. Without the Enterprise, we wouldn't have saved Jill. Wouldn't have made it to Ash. Wouldn't have escaped from Stone here with our lives. None of this would have been possible had you not followed your dream and kept your promise to Sid. Now I must keep mine. You better bloody I do, no. Or I'll be having his name back. Give it to Gab, maybe. Or Jill. I definitely Jill. Okay. Be seeing you, Clive. And that is it with mid. Anything toward that crystal certainly don't be well. Oh. Alright, we're done with this whole area. Has Middle mentioned a new project? Yes, always new projects. Um, I'll just double check in the infirmary, but I think we talked to Yote. I think I already talked to them. All this time, my heart has wandered hither and thither in search of the perfect companion. And? When all along he was here, standing right beside me. Me? Oh, no, no, no. So much food in the hideaway. Oh. Sometimes, myself, my tummy rumbled so loud. The cataract sneaked me some gruel from oh. his bowl. I miss him. He would have liked this place. Yeah, he would have. <laughs> you look just Not that I knew who he was or anything, but... <laughs> Not that I know him. Okay. Wide-eyed innocent. I love the titles to these people. Uh, Taria, I do believe we have complete... Wow, there's a lot of people here. It's just a touch of the feeling ill. So many. Ask about her. What I truly like is to share my knowledge of healing and herb lore with the realm. Every cure seems like a miracle to the child who knows nothing of medicine. But teach her medicine. And suddenly a world without miracles doesn't seem so frightening. And no sooner have your wounds mended. Then you find an excuse to go charging one more unto the breach. But only because my wounds are mended. Thanks to the expert ministrations of the best healer on this side of the belt. <sighs> Save your honey-eyed tongue for Jill. Honeyed? Sorry, honey-eyed. Honeyed. You're talking to ki- Wait, wait, you're talking about killing a god, Clyde. While I may not have Gav's nose. I know danger when I smell it. And this plan reeks to high heaven. This will be the last time, I promise. That's what I'm worried about. You fool. Don't you think I'd rather stitch a thousand of your cuts than never stitch one again? I do. Thank you. All right, that's Take all with Taria. Ties tea stop the fits. She was the best. Is there anything new from Yote? Greetings, Lord Marquis. Oh, already asked her about everything. Goodbye. Do not risk yourself unduly. Thank you, Edda. my lord. All right. Me in. That's it in the hideaways clinic. It's definitely an upgrade from the previous clinic, that's for sure. Can I go down here now? Or was I always able to? Oh yeah, it's just the chest, but didn't I already get it? Looks like, yeah, I did. Okay. I'm gonna save talking to Otto for last because I feel like it's gonna be emotional. Let's talk to Gout, Goot, Gout, Goot. Oh, that's it. But just so Anything that- catch your eye? You know, I just wanna make sure- Oh, hold on. How are you doing? How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Nothing. Think you can help? Maybe. To insides, hundreds of leagues. I read Gal's report on Stone here. <laughs> Only wish I could have been there to see the Mother Crystal fall. Mm -hmm. It's just a shame it wasn't the last. Assuming that thing looming over the mountains is a Mother Crystal. Is a Mother Crystal. Otto? If you've got something to ask. Oh. <sighs> No one round here is bold enough or daft enough to say I'm fit for the knacker's yard, but I sure as hell ain't getting any younger. It'll be time to take a step back. Let the fledglings spread their wings, young gouts as bright as the inside of a barrel, but his heart's in the right place, and his constant failures never seem to dim his spirits either. Reckon the same might have been said for me when I was his age. But if it weren't for Sid. Giving me the room to fall and hand to help me back mm. up again, I never would have changed. And have been the gout, goots leading the gout, scouts leading, whatever. Clive, assuming we've made it this far. <sighs> Trust you to go and pick a fight with a bleeding god. I didn't sign up for all this excitement, you know? No. Sid did say the higher ups wouldn't be too happy about us trying to change the world. Huh, <laughs> you've got me there. 
and it ain't as if I had anything better to do, so no more lip out of me. But it's that lip that keeps us on our toes, Otto. Is that right? Well, I'd better start looking for someone or something else to moan about then, hadn't I? I know you'll do right by us, Clive. Mm, I think I had completed my conversations with Vivian the last time, too. Which means we have Dion. You be careful up there. Oh, I already heard that. Can we talk to Oh, there's Gav. I'll come back. Oh, another conversation oh, with Gav. One of these days. One of these days, I swear it's gonna be me who drinks you under the table. <laughs> I if doubt I that. Under the table, you mean retching on my boots half the night. I reckon one of those days was yesterday. <laughs> ha ha. You think you're so funny. I but do. just wait till we crack open the bottle I left in your chambers. Oh. That stuff's strong enough to burn the horns off a behemoth. Sounds like I'll be needing some new boots. <laughs> oh, he's leaving. Huh. It's like an interesting final conversation with him. Or maybe we talk to him one more time. Alright, let's talk to Dion. Is it time? Ifrit. Your resolve didn't falter. No. Though I continue to be bewildered by fate. But I should meet with my old tutor here. To the very end of the world. God, his face is so good. I thank you. With all my heart. For giving me this chance. And I thank you for taking it. Mm. I should like to look upon that flower once more. When I am worthy. You better survive. I stand ready to leave for Origin at your word. May Grega go with us. And see us safely home. Gosh, his voice has such range too. Wait, there's more things I can talk to him now. Courage, Ifrit. Hippocrates. <sighs> my days under the tutelage of Master Hippocrates were among the brightest and most rewarding of my life. His knowledge is boundless, and he gladly shares it with me, that I might learn to be of use to my father in matters of state. And so that when the time came, I might be the ruler that my people not only expected, but deserved. Alas. I have disappointed him utterly. And yet... He greeted me with such warmth, as if I were still the same boy who hung upon his every word. <laughs> in a way, perhaps I am. And perhaps I might make him proud of me yet. My decision is made. I shall carry you and your brother to origin, that the lessage name might live on in honor, not in infamy. Even if I should not... Your Highness, you're not. You said it yourself. This is a journey from which I may not return, and yet I am resolved to go. Ultima took much from me. He means to strip us of all of what little we have left. He must be he stopped. stopped. Whatever the cost. He must. Your Highness, you are as over hasty as your brother. Save your thanks for when this is over. The time is nigh. The time is nigh. Alrighty, let's see. Karen, I know we're finished with. Maeve. You look like you could do with a drink. Oh. Well, might as well order the round of. Honestly, Sid. Yeah. You're too nice for your own good. Before we go off to die, might as well spend my money. The next round's courtesy of the realm's most benevolent outlaw. Benevolent outlaw. <laughs> but can I buy his food? I don't know if I oh, like the blackout racing, scenes. Are I don't know how I feel about it. I got for the big heave ho, are ya? The hideaway. Work had only just started on the old hideaway when Sid took me in. Plan was to make it a safe haven for bearers we were gonna free. I remember when the first ones moved in. They'd hardly dare look you in the eye, let alone speak to you. But over time... They started to thaw. They stopped being slaves and became a family. And the hideaway their home. It'll be the same with Etta and her little one, I'm sure. They can make a new home here with a new family. <sighs> <laughs> and with the best big brother in the whole wide world to look after them. Here, what are you looking so smug for? 
I'm talking about me. One minute you're talking about being his father, and the next you're talking about being his brother. So I don't know what's happening here. Go and give that fucker one for me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, what is this? What is this conversation? Sid, Maruna. Like back from I told you I knew they Sid, were. They were all the rage in Dalamil. Looks sort of funny if you ask me. But amazing. I'll be damned. Have you had one before? Something smells good. What are we having? Wait, what is this small scene? Bombs. And they are good. You should try one. Oh. Hey, the bloody guy hole in it. Who are the rest? <laughs> it's supposed to be hollow, silly. Haven't you ever seen Drake's, Drake's fang? fang? That's cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I like that they had that because I had seen that and I didn't know. I just didn't know. All right, I guess it's Byron and then Harpocrates and I then. I don't suppose you're here brother. to reprise the saint and the sectary. No. Do you know why? I chose to call it the Triunity, Clive. You may be too young to remember, but this isn't the first time an alliance has been struck twixt the nations of storm. It was not twenty summers past. That your father petitioned both the Empire and the Republic to join hands with the Duchy, that we might work in mutual advantage in defiance of the Blight. And they, for their part, embraced the notion, or so we believed. Little did we know that the peace Elwyn had worked so hard to secure would be ground beneath the heel of one we least suspected. Your mother, the, the Duchess. Duchess. In one fell swoop, Annabella robbed us of everything. A nation, a leader, a brother, a father. But above all... She robbed us of what could have been. A realm undivided. Elwyn's grand design. And so you see... Why I chose that to call our new alliance the Triunity. For with it, we aim to preserve not only peace, but a lasting legacy of cooperation. We'll be fine, Clive. We'll be fine. I'm also going to listen to the Bard one last time. Same books, but what's going on? You're going somewhere, Sid. I am. Can we come? No. Okay, guys, let's do our final readings of... Visit. Oh! Joshua. If I may observe. Your brother has possessed a rare gift, and I do not mean the flames of the phoenix. Words, Clive. His findings on Ultima and the Circle of Malleus are worthy of the great boss himself. Should he choose to devote himself to this path, I hazard he would one day become quite the historian. <laughs> but not before you and he finish your own story. History can wait. After all, for that is what it does. Dion. I well recall. The time I spent at the Imperial Palace instructing the young prince on the history of the realm. He was quite unlike the other noble children, the noble born children. I had taught not only for the keenness of which he listened, but by the earnestness of his conviction. He truly believed that it was the Empire's duty to serve the people and was determined to study the past, that he might not repeat its mistakes. Which is the reason why what befell Twinside weighs so heavily on his soul. He must live with the consequences, and I fear it will take more than merely time to heal such wounds. It will take forgiveness. Not from you or me, not nor from his countrymen, nah, nor even from his late father. No. From himself. Only then might his flower bloom again. Origin. Ah, yes. You've arrived at a solution then. Dion will carry us. Indeed. A feat befitting the final act. <laughs> I congratulate myself that I shall live long enough to see it. A feat in itself for a man of my many years. But to be serious, it is no small thing to march against fate, Clive. You must be certain of your footing, lest the winds of destiny divert you from your course. Are you certain of your footing, Clive? Well, I was, but I am. Then go. And do what you must. Such a wise wizard. All right, the final tone. new notes that might interest you. Please tell me we maxed. We have to have seen everything, right? We have to be level seven. This I'm so close to level eight. Find most interesting. Ah, oh, damn it! 
You wish to study the tomes? What do I have left? Wait. What is left? All right. The bestery is finished. The beastery, whatever. It is. A chimeris. That there might exist a creature so terrible, so twisted as the trisphalic horror that the Crimea Crimea is a striking reminder of the madness of whatever deity first whispered life into them. It is not enough that the winged demons demons are both astonishingly aggressive and adept in manipulation of ether, but they are also able to wield their influence over other beasts, commanding them like a field marshal might his regulars. Fortunately, they are seen only rarely, and only deep in the deserts of Dalmechia. And we have a few more. Well, we have some updates on some. Um, the death of King Barnabas saw a shift in their allegiances, and they now bend the knee to Ultima and no other. Okay, that is an update. Interdimensional Ultima. In order to further test the strength of the vessel, Mythos, Ultima lured both Clive and Joshua deep into the shadowy depths of his fractured mind, where he faced the brothers clad in the remnants of the erstwhile flesh, the infernal icon. Infernal Icon, a form long since discarded by Ultima, that brings them to mind Ifrit, the icon manifested by Clive. It is seemingly incomplete, lacking as it does the wings of being created when Clive and Joshua combine the powers of Ifrit and the Phoenix. Odin. Um, however, they are, have yet to been able, unable to prove this point. Okay, wait, wait, wait. A man of scholars believed to be a descendant of the ancient moats of the darkness within whose line all dominants of Odin are born. However, they have yet to been able, unable to prove this point, on account that there are no records of any Odins before Barnabas having come to light. Now that's fascinating. Ifrit Risen. Uh, could this be the final true form of the vessel that Ultimate requires to remake the world? when he has the wings of the phoenix guys that is it for the bestery i mean beastery whatever happens like it might upgrade or it might uh, update but that's it do we have everything we don't have everything for mysteries that's so weird new world the paradise ultima seeks to summon into creation one free from the blight that almost ended his race Though Barnabas believed that he and his fellow faithful, fellow faithful would be allowed to join his deity there, he was mistaken. Only Ultima and his kin shall have a place in this new paradise, a paradise freed not only from the blight, but from humanity. Logos Where Ultima uses Mythos to describe the vessel he long waited, one into which he can pour his soul and cast his supreme spell, Logos indicates its blasphemed form, a vessel over which the will of another has complete claim, making of itself a false god. The Journal of Moss Both Moss and his journal were all but removed from public life at the instance of rival scholars, but at Joshua's request, the Undying were able to track down a copy of the prized tome. The botany in the Deadlands. The Deadlands are true to their name in that no plant nor animal could survive for long in the land swallowed by the blight. At least that is without effort and ingenuity. In Sid's hideaway, Bahumil, Bahumil and Martel found some success in growing crops in the Deadland soil, and others continue their legacy in the new hideaway. Mid's fil filters, for instance, make the blackened water of mere fit for human consumption, and much to Nigel's relief irrigation that's cute we have the wyvern tail mm -hmm. it's an update their use in branding wow okay yes we did learn about that the dye is highly poisonous when it enters the bloodstream and so it is not uncommon for bears to lose their lives either upon receiving their brand or during an inexer inexerpent attempt to remove it while cultivated wyvern tails bear white blossoms, those that grow in the wild adopt a purple haze. The ex executors, ex executors, thank you. A shadowy cab cabal who control the truth of the realm by collecting and concealing any knowledge they believe should remain hidden. They appear to view themselves as guardians of humanity, protecting people from what and would, what would only cause them pain. From a distance, the shameful history of the enslavement of bearers is but one of the books the executors would see expunged from the public record. Wait, did I? No, those are just, yeah, those are how they are. 
Ultima's thralls. We already know about them, but yeah. Uh, the skies in the realm fell dark after. Soulless automata, largely composed of ether, whose only drive is to see their creator's will done. Echoes were updated. Though widely assumed to be the vestiges, vestiges of fallen civilization, it seems they were in fact originally servants of Ultima, created by him in a time lost memory, and that it was only over long years of scavenging wreckage from the fallen ruins that they took their current form. Since Ultima's reawakening, they have been guided by his will and his will alone. That makes so much sense. And great beasts. The behemoths and Fafnirs of the realm, large, dangerous beasts to whom all others bow. These creatures ruled for generations as the kings of the great forests, or tall peaks, only to be driven from their homes by the blight and forced into unwelcome contact with humanity. They tend to have little tolerance for ethereal exposure, so it is common for them to turn Akashic on the merest contact with an ether flood. Akashic have been updated. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, Barnabas and his Akashic army, and with the despair they wrought, he sought to strip the wills of the rest, making them in his eyes pure, in an Akashic form. The Deluge of Blood A great war that occurred in the ancient times between the few who bear the blessing and many who do not. It ended in the signing of the Continental Accord, which cemented the systematic subjugation a subjugation of the bearer minority. It was not until hundreds of years later that the first icons were to emerge, their human hosts being named Dominants, after the savior myth of the Circle of Malice, Malias, which held that the Lord's return would have been heralded by the appearance of his heavenly servants most wondrous and most dominant. Such was the awesome power of these creatures that the authorities had no option but to exempt them from the system of slavery, announcing them to be something other than a lowly bearer and deserving of the highest honor, lest they should side with their fellow oppressed and bring a second deluge upon their master's heads. The ancient mural did get updated. Yeah, Joshua discovers an unblemished version in the depths of Waluder's stronghold and learns that the figure thought to be Ultima is in fact that of Ifrit Risen. Ifrit and the Phoenix united as one. It's so interesting that the fire is like the best, you know? It's like that chose to be the highest order. All right, so hidden truths. Um, okay, so, da -da 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 -da. so advanced was the Fallen's technology that it was nigh indistinguishable from magic, leading a historian of the early modern era to remember them as a men mene of magitech and men of magical technology. It is Mid's dream to bring this technology back to life, that humanity might take flight once more. And last but not least, a couple more. <laughs> the Gla Glazheim, Glazheim, a vast ethereal dome created by King Barnabas, Tharmir, using the power of the icon Odin. It is not only capable of repelling assaults both corporeal and magical, but will also consume any who might endeavor passage across its bounds. Spanning from the mining settlements of Astilla in the south to Frigg's Calm in the north, the barrier effectively blocks any who approach the Waluder capital of Stone here for hundreds of leagues. Magic. Uh, for this reason, Ultima's incorporeal form prevents him from casting the supremely powerful spell with which he means to remake the world, and so he seeks a vessel strong enough to withstand the torrents of the ether. Yes, we knew that. Most of the stuff we know, I'm just kind of like refreshing. The Deadlands. Uh, hidden truths. Little to the knowledge of the most Valistheans, the spreading blight is in fact driven by the mother crystals that drain away the land's ether for Ultima's ends. Though the beings flew to Valisthea to escape the blight, overuse of magic by human civilizations that followed only succeed in despoiling this last unembellished land. Unblemished, sorry. The Inner Sanctum, sacred chambers in which we knew this, erected far before the time of the Fallen, when humanity was still in its infancy. Their original purpose was simply provide protection for the fragile cores. As time passed, however, they were slowly transformed into places of worship. And the Mother Crystals. Clive and Joshua learned that they were planted here by Ultima for that very purpose, that the creature might accumulate enough ether to cast a supremely powerful spell one that would remake the world and that he did and we did not get it in time i'm missing something you see oh oh whoa oh the last one sin in ultima's eyes mankind's greatest sin is the awakening of free will 
his servants straying from the path their creator laid out for them and forging one of their own. However, Clive contends that this is only by sin by which Ultima is equally bestained. And indeed, if humanity is indeed Ultima's creation, does not their every action and every emotion stem from it? Mmm. From a distance we read. Guys, I'm actually going to be kind of choosy of what we read real quick because my voice is going. Like, so if it's just an update, we're just going to peep it and see. Um, it was he who placed the mother crystals in each corner, Ultima. Yeah. Curse breakers. While Otto manages their activities, day to day operations are led by Doris and Cole. Potential new recruits must undergo rigorous training and pass an induction test before joining. We knew that. Oh my gosh, I don't know. My voice is completely shot. Dalmechian Republic has been updated. However, thanks to the intervention of Prince Dion, his knights and dragoon, disaster was averted at the last moment. Yes, the fall of the system, Northreach. These are all updates from all of those side quests as well. The people chose the latter, and after a hard-earned victory, the High Cardinal was finally convinced to join hands with Madame Isabel, and the modicum of order was at last restored. Randala? Mm. Since Ultima brought the primogenesis, however, Randala's streets have been all but abandoned to Akashic Waluder soldiers and beastmen to hunt for flesh. Flesh. The Dalamil Inn. So we know what happened to Lubor. For his accomplishment, he earned not only the respect of the peers, but also the position of mayor. Charit Caratina. Charitan. Charitina. This was where the so-called League of Outlaws had taken up residence, but since the arrival of the Aether Floods rendered the bandits Akashic, sealing the village's fate, which we X'd out. Actually, holy cow, we completed Lay of the Land. All right, guys, my voice, I cannot believe I'm doing this, but it is going. We are clicking on these. Save your cult we know about. Circle of Malleus we know about. I know this is very unlike me. It's just, I still need to finish the last mission and my voice is on the way out the door. It does this if ever I'm like talking too much. The continent we know about. Plus we, well, I guess I could have left it untapped. I'm gonna leave the persons of interest because we can read that after we finish the game. Micklesburg. Like, I think that these are really, well, one, you get them anyway. Bad back, yeah, bad back. Drake's spine. The moment it fell when we killed him, yeah. The fall of Drake's spine. Hands of Sid the Allah. Elder Mark. Formerly the most powerful kingdom in Ash until Barnabas and his armies led a rebellion against it. Yeah. Ravenwit walls, very much like Odin's walls. Balmung dark, yeah. Galyar, stone year. Kingdom of Walud. Shattered, leaving the capital without Mother Crystal and the king. And honestly, nobody. Like, that is really a massive wasteland. So there's a lot of updates for our people, especially because we've done a lot of conversations. You learn everything you need. I'm going to leave the people for the end of the game. Wait. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. Wait. Oh, I think Go it just... Safely. I think it just thought that I tried to interact with him again. Yeah, sorry. I know that's so unlike me. But yeah, we'll keep the rest for later. So with that, let's complete Joshua's mission and uh, that will be that. Let's listen to this guy too. Sir? That's the same same one as last time. All right, brother, what would you like to do before we save the world? Uh, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say And don't say nothing. Uh, it's not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. Cyril, oh yeah. The undying have found Father's will. Oh. Something akin to it. His will. Why? How? Tell where? me we're going back to Rosaria. The castle. In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. Yeah. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, mm -hmm. the undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. Oh. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. Yes. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Absolutely. Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Mm. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. Do-do-do. Where there's a will. Let's go do it. 
This is weird to only see one green left here. So, so weird. Oh, I should have picked... Did I pick Tabor? I think that is. I think that puts us right in Tabor. Yeah. Here we go. I can't see this your being grace, like a long quest or anything. My lord, I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found a letter from father. Mm. Yes, I have it here. If you would do us the honor, my lord. My beloved sons. I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure a future for our duchy and our family. Yet even should we succeed in subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all Rosaria striving as one might we at last overcome it. I have made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. This shall be an arduous inheritance, and so I offer you yet another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for you both, your father. An inheritance? It would seem the late Archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing. Mm. The day before we left for Phoenix Gate. He suspected. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Oh. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the burning quill, who entrusted them in turn to me. Yeah. The complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse. Mm. And the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. It was so With the blight good. spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. To see centuries of common wisdom overturned. <laughs> Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, mm. he would never have written this message. Nor would <sighs> he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you. Shielded you from the machinations of... The less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Hmm. Tis true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But one at least remains. And she has come bearing gifts. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. After all... Huh? The duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering His Grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it. Or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, Your Grace. Thank the you, archive? Sir. The archive? I'm not tracking. Is the archive here? Wait, why am I... The archive? Archives in. Wait a minute. Sorry, I have something in my eye and I'm trying to. Oh. Oh. Oh, the archives are up here. I don't think we've ever been to the archive. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Oh, I think we have been here. No, we have been here. Yeah, because haven't I looked at these before? I faintly remember. Maybe not. But I want to see who this is. My lord. Cyril's guest. Your grace. I... I hardly recognize you. You should recognize her? I am Goditha, 
retainer of House Rosfield, loyal oh. servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. No. Lift up your head, Lady Goretha. You have our gratitude for your service to our house and to our father. I merely mm. did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more. What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. Oh. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands <gasps> for you oh. both. We got matching yes. bracelets! <laughs> he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before Wait, that's they so could cute. be completed. <laughs> he had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself. But it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. Oh. I see. We're not finished. It saddens me to bring them before you as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress. I think I know somebody who can but finish it. Grace long since gone, and the stone left unclaimed. I had little choice. Yeah. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, mm. I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you. And then Lady we'll go Gunther. into the fight with what say you, Clive? matching armbands. What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do, though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. Mm. It is found in the bellies of elder griffins, you see. We do at least know where to find one. Okay. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. <laughs> a certain specimen? So it was not as simple as going to get it? You your grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. Mm. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? Yes. Right? There's nothing else to do? Um... I was wondering if maybe we take it to Blackthorn, but I guess maybe we slay it and bring it back to her. Because it's the heartstone that they're missing, and then she'll be able to just piece it together. Oh, let's put the chocobo. Ambrosia. It's a pity Ambrosia come can't on. come with us for the final yeah. battle. I feel like Ambrosia versus Ultima Please could be... be I don't know. Remember the when we fought the Notorious Mark that was the chocobo? Just saying stands no chance there it is a griffin thanks girl good morning all right let's just see how quick we can make this might not be that quick that's a beefy griffin there it is. oh wow joshua welcome to the fight <laughs> Dagger. House Rossfield. House Rossfield. Here we go. Still staggered. It's about to get back up. So it means it'll give us a couple more and then we'll be good. We chase something. Whoa! Ow. Mess me up. Whoa, look at that. That was so cool. Okay. That was actually so cool. Permafrost. 
I was like, there's... It was tumbling into me. That's weird. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Ow. I'm getting tossed. There we go. It's down. Boom, staggered. Enough. Oh! Not just staggered. Kill. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think it, its health was that low. Oh no, guys, we're at 4300. I'm not going to two heartstones. <sighs> Is this the heartstone? I expect me. I am not gonna have enough to get that ultimate. I'm wondering if I can. I'm just, I don't know. I'll try to like right before we go into the last fight. I'll try to figure out my my uh, I guess moves, my icon strength. Although we already fought him with what we have. Oh, thank the founder, you were safe. Oh, her Griffin eyes. Is slain then. And the heartstone claimed. It looks really pretty. It's like a ruby almost. Yes. Heart. This radiant luster, like frozen flame, is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Mm. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Godetha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. Oh, What a sweetie. Here we go. I wonder if this is actually something we'll be able to wear. Are complete. Or we'll put it in our room. Take them. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet. Mm. Or even ruby. Mm. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And That's the graven awesome. vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. Aww. And <laughs> only if we stood together as phoenix and shield. As brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Godetha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Mm. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? The guy in the background. Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his mm. hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered oh. that the Duchess had ordered her jewellery be sent away from the castle. She knew? It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. Oh. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. Good for her. Founder, you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. Mm. And so my pursuit continued, until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that his grace's will had been recovered, and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Godetha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. She give her all of our riches I. since we don't know if we're going to survive or not. Thank you, my lord. Your grace for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. Oh. 
<laughs> the founder's grass. Let's look at it, y'all. It is gear. It's gonna be awkward if it's not as good. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It's like, it's actually, it does more good than it does. And yeah, I mean, it's significant. I'm, I've, I have to have it. That's weird. Oh, I was like, the why? Hands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. We didn't know it was it denied. Is. And we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. <laughs> if you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might oh. I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing. That's such a good and point. That his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Should we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. Yeah. It has been since, since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance. His helm. And I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Now that is for our wall in the back. Thank you, Cyril. <laughs> I handle the hand every time. It gets me. All right, let's go see our father. Come on, Clive. He's waiting. Did you put your band on? Because I already put my band on. So this is going to be awkward if you didn't put yours on yet. Joshua? I should have peeped because um, I think there's multiple stops. I wonder if we were denied access to it at an earlier point. Oh, no. I think we were. I don't think we were ever out, al allowed to go over there. That wouldn't make sense. Like a wind. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? Mm -hmm. Save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Ah. That I miss, sir. Yeah. Especially knowing what we know now. And there's so many. Our mother was truly capable Can of. Can I jump this? But perhaps these bands would have helped. Okay. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Mm. It's just back there. Annabella is so brutal. Thanks, girl. Her betrayal. I swear. All because of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was not... We were not allowed access to this. And his helm, look. Oh, he's gonna give me the chills. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. <laughs> been trying to live up to his ideals ever since little did i know i was doing what he really wanted right freeing all bears we all have clive we all have and we'll keep trying because that's what he would have wanted mm -hmm. <laughs> what he would have done himself even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us as we follow in your footsteps. <laughs> so brooding. <laughs> Joshua is really a cool character. I mean, obviously he's one of the brothers, but 
it's more than that. Like he. Oh no. We won't lay you down. Oh, that gave me chills. Onward then. Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. <laughs> oh. What a good way to go before the the final mission where there's a will there's a way and this will now be displayed in clive's chambers yep well guys that is it for this episode i know i know wait joining hands with joshua hold on joshua has joined clive's party and will remain with him until origin wait that's so cool i would have gotten to have him for all those side missions as well wait hold on it's not it because there's something else here Hold on. Wait, but we just finished that, did we not? What? This has got to be a joke. This has got to be a joke. There's... Okay, it's a mission for Jill, okay. What? Okay, I will go back and read that. Though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart. And we would be poor friends indeed if not to seek to brighten her day. Uh, uh. <laughs> if Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. Right. <laughs> okay, so... With that, I... <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. We're... Yeah. Ignore my almost ending for this episode. Welcome back in, guys, to... There are so many side missions before the end of the game that I've had to record this on four separate days. <laughs> I do want to see the Wall of Memories before we talk to Jill. Yep, so there's... There's two left, and we know that one of them is, in fact, the rest of Battalion... Or Battle Helm. We know that the very, very last one is, in fact, finishing those trials. Oh, I need to talk to my brother first. So I need to go read the missive to go back to my brother. I was at my brother to go to the missive to find out I need to go back to my brother to find out that I then need to go back up to Jill. Of course. Joshua, I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different. Since we returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. Uh. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one mm -hmm. of us. To let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. I'd say we've gotten pretty close now. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Yeah, to mm. see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. <laughs> and when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. In the rain. Aww. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. <laughs> then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Oh, so Mount they never Hill. got to see it. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. 
Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> what, what do you do without me, Clive? His whole demeanor changed right there in that quest. I feel like Joshua almost sounded entirely different. All right, priceless, so let's go there first, and then we'll come back to the hideaway to tell her to come back to... <sighs> let's see. Oh, it's literally right there. Wait a minute. Isn't this where we were with Jill? This is where we were with Jill when we first arrived here to begin with. Oh, but we weren't allowed to go right here. Oh, they've died. No. Here be Rossfields. This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. Maybe there's one left to bring back to her? There's no weapon spared. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What do we do now? We keep looking. Brothers Man's Snow Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. You of. So we need to go back then to Hippocrates. Ask someone who might know of another. Someone at the backyard. To the hideaway, then. I was just jesting. This is serious. So we're going back to the hideaway. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm jesting, but I'm also Let's laughing one of the because knows where to find snow daisies. It really doesn't need to be this back and forth and back and forth. I feel like we could streamline this quest. I kind of am speechless. I need to make sure I'm topped up on all our potions and stuff before we um. Before we head to origin. I... Okay, and then we'll go back to Rosaria, and then we'll go back to Jill, and then we'll go back to the spot, and then the mission will be done. Oh. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Maybe uh, by the sea? I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Royal Meadows. Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. What's so strange is that the other things in the area you, you haven't died from the Blight. Flowers. The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, oh, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, yeah. then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. And so I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Nice. Whose shores border the meadows. Oh, I know exactly where Off that is. Off we go, then. Isn't that where we fought the Undertaker, or the, like, um... I think it was the one... It was the guy with the scythe. I hate him so much. You know the one I'm thinking of? Oh. I feel like there's got to be another... There's got to be another obelisk somewhere up there. Obelisk. I'm, I'm trying to count how many times we've had to go here to there to there. And now my eye help the garrison today. I guess we haven't been back since our last mission. Maybe we'll get to keep a snow daisy for the memories as well. wild to me that they lock out the last memory by completing all the trials and then I think online it said there were seven trials I've only run into two that I can remember like it'd probably be one of those things you have to look at the locations to really find them oh shoot ambrosia I wish Joshua had a special a special chocobo. What does his look like? This is just generic chocobo number two. The meadows so are vast. Fast. What is your Where companion? Start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. Why does your companion fly faster than you? Oh, there, there, there. It's beautiful. Once we kill these creatures. 
All right, go this way. And then right here, bring them all in. And then snap. Nice. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, this is a beautiful view for her. Oh, what is it? What do you see, boy? Of course. Because there couldn't just be daisies. Let's hope this is the last one. Ow. Only one way to find out. I don't know out. why I'm running headfirst into it. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Lightning bolt him. That should soft, yeah. Soft stagger. <laughs> Gonna catch me. Oh, Joshua. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that. So weird that they can still strike you through that. New enemies approaching. Okay. Him up. There we go. Oh, and we can do hers. There we go. Cold snap. This isn't going to be enough to get us. I'm just going to take that. This isn't going to be enough to give us the XP we need, though. So tragic. Nice. I'm zooming, I'm zooming. Perfect. Huzzah! I think I would have structured these to be like a mission for each of your main companions, like Joshua, Dion, Jill, but I don't think I would have made them like fighting missions. I feel like I would have kept them in the hideaway, almost like a conversation. Well, no, Joshua's had to be what it was, but we didn't really have too much fighting, just a griffin. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> There's a part of me that's like, oh, Jill's been down recently. Let's get her flowers. It's so innocent and cute, but at the same time, it's like, she lost her icon, and you think that flowers... It's the gesture. It's the gesture of doing something nice. I know. And I'll be back. I'll go it get it. my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? <laughs> I feel like Joshua's got some pep in his step back after our stuff with father. All right, let's snag her. Let me top up on this. Still alive, are you? I'm still Point alive. Weighing you down. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was going to get close to it. Not at all. Not at all. Oh my goodness. When did I use so many blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. I'm robbing you blind. You're robbing me blind, you know. <laughs> I should have kept that um, one stone for right at the end. I didn't realize she was going to be sold out of it. Otherwise, I only would have purchased it right before Ultima. My dear Jill. Jill. There's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? <laughs> Do we have to travel all the way from Northreach? Or does it spawn us there? 
Okay, thank goodness. Oh, this is beautiful. There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. Uh -huh. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or <laughs> tried to? How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. Mm. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. <laughs> well, but she'd I scold anyone. Nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some mm. of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. Oh. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Really? Like, what if she had gone to one of the high nobles? It still would have been all right? Was it like, I don't know. That is really cute. Aw, Torgal. Those flowers, they look different. They're not just like daisies. Well, we know it, the, the snow things, whatever they said. Snow day, did they say snow daisies? Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No, what? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tall. <sighs> And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... ...that no matter how terrible the night... ...dawn would always come. Mm. That, that you... ...that you would always come. For me. And you have. Again and again. Where do you see us? I was gonna this is We're defining the relationship over. right now. I don't know. It's here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. Really? I need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. Stop at nothing to see that you do. Aww. Oh, and it's not a nighttime conversation or kiss either. I like this song too. I don't remember ever hearing this. Was this playing when he took her? I never was much good at garlands. Icon? But it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. The romance, Stevie. Clive, for this, the flowers, for everything. 
it's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. <laughs> It's like the sending him off before war. It's really sad. But beautiful. Hmm. That's an interesting choice to put them as the very we last mission. Be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. Yeah. And we'll do it together. I don't think she's coming to origin with me. Quest complete. Na 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 na. Yeah, so they, I like that they gave you a surplus. Oh, we got the snow daisy garland. Yeah, so the very last thing in our chambers was the trials. But like I said, we'll be doing that for uh, DLC to just kind of get us back into it. So we got Shiva's kiss reduces diamond dust cooldown by 7.5 seconds. That's amazing. Okay, that was so worth doing our quest for. So we go back to the hideaway. Nope. Now she's with us, yeah. So we just joined hands with her over. Yeah, so I do wanna talk about that because, okay, so as we're ending this, I'm gonna go look at our room, but that is officially our very last side mission, I believe, like nothing else has popped up on the map. So I, I do in fact think that is it. That is it, y'all. Um, what I do kind of want to talk about is I, I talked about this and you guys can probably tell in this whole episode that I've been less than, you know, excited about all of these missions we've had as we're trying to head into the final chapter. Not for the sake of rushing it, but because I feel like it's just completely halted the pace. And I think that this is because I'm like, it's it's just because if you're a completionist at heart and you do want to do everything, then you're not going to be willing to just go to back to their origin. You want to do all of these. And I personally feel like Jill's, Dion's, I've said this like a million times in this video probably, but Jill, my brother, and Dion's felt right. There were other people's that I feel like could have can... Some of them needed to be finished after, like even Gav and Edda's, I totally get that. But I think that there were some we could have done before we even fought him the first time around. And I don't know if that was for like upgrade sake with like the blacksmith and things like that, but it just kind of ended up really taking the wind out of my sails as we head into this ending, because at this point I also forget a lot, because for me it's been a couple days, but uh, I also personally would have preferred Jill's mission to be before my brother's. I think that as we head into Origin, it would have been nice to like finish on my mission where we get our bracers and then we move forward as brothers because I felt like that was always the more prevalent part of the story. I mean, nothing, you guys have heard me talk about it multiple times. I wanted to see more of Jill stepping up and she has just in a lot of ways been a side character but then for her to have the final mission before you do go to Origin, I mean, it does depend. I chose it to be, but her mission is locked until you do um, at least your brother's mission. There just feels something weird to me about how now all of a sudden she's like the final thing we talk to before we go do this. When I feel like my brother, like it's almost like a brotherly relationship's always been more in the forefront than the actual relationship between Jill and myself. I think it's always been like an underlying theme or tone, but it doesn't kind of like come to surface too much. I also find it interesting that she says it's so small and she'll need space after this. I'm like, what kind of answer is that? I'm going off to fight and probably die. Just tell me you want to be with me. <laughs> I know she kind of already said that in her own words, but yeah. So we have our last missive and we'll check this out. Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. That afternoon on Man's Hill was our first, very, very first adventure, but somehow I knew, even then, that it wouldn't be our last. I will never forget that day, and the simple fact that you have not either fills my heart with a joy so fierce I cannot describe it. Since the moment we first met, you have always been an important part of me, the half that makes me whole. When times are darkest, you are my light. When I am lost, you are my guiding star. You are just what I need. You are all that I need. You are the greatest gift. 
Jill. Priceless. It is cute. And to finish out our wall of memories, except one last one. I know. It's hard. It's hard to go forward and see that one, but I'll, I'll be fine. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. I know it was a long one. I know we were getting through all of those side missions, but uh, tomorrow you guys will get the final chapter. And in the meantime, I got to go record that. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, YouTube.